called in. What <laughs> perfect timing to start the stream. Now, it isn't anything like... You don't actually necessarily pressed. see anything. It's about one of the songs. I pressed oh, okay. start, just letting you know. Oh. Oh, hey, I got the notification. They That's won't cool. have context, but there you go. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, Stuck it! I got first this week! Let's go! Congrats on first, <laughs> Mickey. Um... Did you just call me Mickey? <laughs> hey, Mikey, you're so fun. You're so fun. You blow my mind. Hey, Mikey. Hey, Mikey. Also, you Boy. can make my PNG bigger if you want to and just, like, make me, like, a bust view. Sure. I I haven't cropped it to be a bust yet. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> I've been lazy all this week. Also top, very distracted. Everybody. I got a progressive commercial, and it's got animated pigeons. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, also, Krell, congrats on second, and Extreme, congrats on third. Threeth! I almost forgot my own numbers. <laughs> threeth! It's Threeth, I swear! Earth. Threeth. Earth. But anyways, welcome everyone in. How? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to Adventures in Ferris. Featuring, um, person in the middle, go. I don't, who's in the Hi, middle? I'm I can't Mordred look at the screen Barman, right now. Your friendly foxy rogue. Ready for what might be more emotional pain. Technically, the person in the middle would have been Doc, but okay, Mordred, popcorn away. Oh, that's a uh, shout out. Well, that worked out perfectly, because I could not see the screen right now, because I'm filling out paperwork. Yo, Doc, lol. Son of a <laughs> bitch, I'm filing, I'm filing for a job, man. I know. You got this. Oh shit, man, I don't got the shit open yet. Oh my god. Oh, oh. My god. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it doesn't bother me. It bothers me, it bothers me a lot, and that one's uh, still no. green! <laughs> making me sign in. Oh, uh, come on now, hold on, I'm a fool. I'm, I'm the no, fool. Uh, Pixel Doctor, who plays Octod, the glorious kobold who steals letters and slays beauties. Son of a bitch. Uh, yes. Sorry, no, not you. Got, right? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't sign in. I no. hit the wrong buttons. How dare you? Yeti, go. I am the Mini Yeti, I am a Yeti VTuber. I am playing Urga the Torkoal Monk today. Uh, Crow. I like how mine was all chaotic, chaotic and Yeti is so calm. Hey everybody, my name is Kitty Makoto VT. I am a Wolven VTuber and I'm playing Argos today. Also, I got cookies. Fuck yeah. I have donuts. Aw, uh, <laughs> share. I also Both have, of you share. They're like, <laughs> they're like Chips Ahoy, and I just don't want to go to waste. I have Girl Scout cookies. I'm willing to make deals. Oh, oh, I can get nutter butter there. I have some downstairs. You get nut. Huh? I mean, it can't be from me because I, I, I can't anymore. Fair enough. Oh, Sammy getting that nut. Let's go. <laughs> can let me sign My. in. I'm getting it. We're going to pass it to everybody's Call favorite Crow chicken. What? What? What I do? Actually, what haven't I done? Fair enough. Oh, been... hell yeah! Mickey! <laughs> I don't... I don't wanna. You can't make me. Okay, goodbye. Well, uh, it was no. nice knowing you in the campaign. Uh... No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, I'm Cosmos Keeper, aka Karen. I play... Caress the Eric Cocker Druid. I almost said the chicken! Oh, uh, we're getting a raid. Welcome in, raiders! Who's raiding? The homo the homie Kaiba. Welcome in. <laughs> I thought oh. she was gonna I thought she was gonna say the homo and I was gonna be like, what the fuck? I almost did. <laughs> little out of pocket, little out of pocket. Ooh, power world. I hope it's fun. It really does. I got caffeine, fun, so I am out of pocket today. Nice. And speaking of out of pocket. Hara hara. Thank you for the redeeming extreme. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. No, I can't sign in. And welcome in, Raiders. Please. Sign in anywhere else? 
I'm in on a on DDBR, but I just can't see Roll Twenty. Are you logged in like a different browser? I mean, like, because I was logged in on my phone, like, no, I'm logging. I don't have version. 100. Bra I don't have 100 tabs open like some people do. Also, thank you for nutting in my ear. Don't call me. Are out. you calling me out again? What the I'm fuck? calling out everyone that does it because I know too many people that do it. No comment. What the fuck? No comment. Yeah. I don't. I, I'm don't. also gonna throw shade at extreme for that one because I know for a fact he constantly has a bunch of tabs open. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed and welcome in, Nimi. Hope y'all having I, fun. I, I I forgot my password, I guess. So are you not able to get on the roll twenty? I'm gonna set, have to reset my password. Uh oh. Why now I just remember, you again? need to have, have a number, one uppercase letter, maybe a, a weird symbol, letter and a weird symbol, and your firstborn child. And a little bit of your soul. Maybe you first pick. My weird symbol's about to be a middle finger. Uh, your numbers cannot add to more than 35. I'm not doing this right now. They also have oh. to be prime numbers. And also, Jesus Christ! They have to multiply into 27. So three. Yes. But they cannot be together in which they, the number read out and equals more than 1,237. Are you talking about the password game? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Reference to it. Extreme, also, I will call you out. Don't Kim yell Dad, at me. thank you for nutting in my ear again. Everyone's nutting uh, in my ear we today. Feed the chicken. I made it, fellas. All right. Uh, I think two people still need to introduce themselves. What do you mean? I huh? already did. Who's left? Did you? Oh, Wait. and I'm Sammy. Your adorable cat girl, no. god mommy and game master, also game master, don't question it, and yeah, hope you're all having fun. Question a little bit, what does it mean to be the game master? So anyways, last time on Ferris, um, <laughs> does anyone remember? Uh, it's when you're the leader at Pride. Um, I, I was about to say, I feel like my question went, you know, purposely ignored. For some reason, I don't know. I had an emotional meltdown. I think you we all had an emotional I, meltdown. I also had an emotional meltdown. <laughs> Mikey's about to do it again. I am, actually. <laughs> so what gave you all an emotional meltdown? We met our... We met my child. We met our grown kids. Your grown kids? But they're tiny. They're right I there. I triggered the ultimate meeting. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> A meeting of the fates. Steam's abandoning abandoning us. No, Steam, why? By saying we know. Lord. Take care. Bye. We know. <laughs> By saying we know. We know. <laughs> you I, get a I letter mean, from the courier. Just about summed it up, didn't it? Pretty much. I think that's pretty much all we did, right? I think so. It's been a week for me. <laughs> I know the. I know literally the last half of the session was literally us just meeting. Like, quote unquote, I meeting the grown kids. Lightning infused guy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I killed three oh. people in one turn. And Octod ate lightning. I was about to say, Octod ate lightning. It was, it was blue raspberry flavored. I'm not having this <laughs> argument again, Sam. I know you want to say something about that. The fact that it's not a fruit? Um, Sam, what did I just say? I'm saying the, the words with my mouth. Anyways, yes, that is what happened. They fought somebody who got infused with electricity. They ate whatever power came out of him. And then when they returned to by the frost, they saw Zephira dancing on the stage. And after talking oh. with After talking with her, Chuck came bursting through the door, demanding to see where she was. And discovered that everyone already knew that they were from the future. They were from the future! Yeah, after I met him halfway down the hallway and basically prompted him to tell me. Yep. And I followed. And then they both punched each other. Yep. Yeah. But eventually... It was great. Eventually Bar walked in, and then I was like, oh, look. Noise. Yep. <laughs> 
And, and Joy is still forever coloring on the table. <laughs> in front of Joy, who's and forever standing behind Joy. Watching Joy color Watching the table. Joyously. What a joyous occasion. And also, uh, we, can't, we can't forget Bob has been racking it up over there in the on the poker table. Yeah, yeah. Bob's a fucking poker machine. He's actually cycled three people off the table and has just stacked up a huge pile that's taller than he is. Do you, do you much, guys, not that big. Do you and guys know that Luna painting? Met Alina for the first time. And Luna met Alina for the first time. Yep. Y'all know that paint, painting with the dogs playing poker? Yep. I have the urge to draw that, but with Bob and a bunch of, like, really sad men who have lost all do their it. winnings. <laughs> yes, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I, I know this is random, but what if somebody beats Bob in poker? <laughs> you don't... We don't talk about it. You don't They're beat gonna, Bob in poker. You just don't beat Bob in poker. No one beats Bob in poker. You don't want to see what happens nice. when you beat Bob in per poker oh no oh suddenly just giant dragon <laughs> <laughs> it's the same token k is using <laughs> connection between k and no bob. literally k you can actually turn yourself into bob <laughs> wait hold on, hold on. <laughs> just, oh my god can i you, i can't you, you can no you can't no, I can only turn myself into the dragon. What? <laughs> Hold on. What? Hold on. Try that version of you. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Yeah, I changed your character sheet, but not your uh, instance of yourself on this uh, map. Oh, Pink and wild shape. Pink <laughs> <laughs> and wild shape into a chicken. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> but yeah, that was the previous session on Adventures in Paris. And now we come back to the party. Gathered near their children, enjoying the time they're currently spending together. That's just like Christmas. Yay! It's a winter wonderland. <laughs> so, what do you all want to do? Well, I know we said something about wrapping it up last session. About them, <laughs> like, having to head out or something, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna be heading out in a moment or two. Well, if we wrapped it up, some of these kids wouldn't be here. <laughs> 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 some of them? I, th I did say some. I mean, technically, none of them would. Uh, I mean, well, on a technical standpoint, sure. On a technicality, K isn't technically uh, Charles's. Uh, when you say father. they head out, what do you mean? They're gonna leave and do their own thing for a while. They do uh, have their own mission at hand. I'm gonna do my own thing. Hello, I'm my own thing. I'm here for the party. Hey, oh. I'm, I'm not hearing TTS on stream. You're not? Uh oh. It should be coming through in desktop that time audio. I did. There you, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. But yeah, anything you'd like to do before they start heading out? We would like to ask them what uh, where it is they're going to be heading to next. Well, we can't tell you that. What the fuck? <laughs> Charlie. Look. It's classified. We Charlie, classified. you weren't even supposed... Yeah, that's me. Uh, you weren't even supposed to know we were here. Let alone this whole conversation. <sighs> but, but we can't give you... Too much of a warning, unfortunately. Okay. I swear to God, if I die, I'm coming back to haunt you, Charles. Well, so we should be heading out. 
just ignored me. <laughs> Classic Charles behavior. <laughs> I feel like it's a learned skill to ignore Uncle Octod. No, it's more like a um. <laughs> it's like he Charles is looking at Octod, blinks a couple times, wide eyed, just turns around. <laughs> What's with this nasty lost child? So, I wish I had them, like, mission art, something silly like this. <laughs> yeah, we'll be heading out. You'll see us around. We can promise you that. Technically, I see you right now. Thanks, Thank Sunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, do be careful. We'll try our best not to get blown to Kingdom Come, as, as they say. Or, you know, get thrown in prison again. It was one time! Tavir comes up to you and gives you one last hug. As well as your respective kids. I'll place a hand on Chuck's shoulder. Keep them safe for me. I'll try. Oh. I'll do everything I can. You better. Come on, I want you. I can ask. Thank you. How tall is Chuck compared to Kay? Kay's like 5'2". Oh, tiny. He stands at... Uh... 6'6". Six, six. Holy Ew. shit! He Dude's a tall. tall bastard. I mean, Charles is bigger than Charles in his other form. Ew. Why do you think he's so tall? I guess it does make sense. I just got to thinking about it because in the last session, Chuck leaned down and like hugged Kay, and now I'm thinking, holy shit, he had to lean down really fucking far. <laughs> he's just a foot. And Whoa. the bit. <laughs> I was about to say, that's almost two fucking feet. It's closer to one foot and a half. And any taller, and Kay would be able to perch on Charles' shoulder. I mean, you haven't seen Charles' other form, in his adult form. I, I, I definitely want to be the same thing, just big. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Lord Charles. Lord Char- no, huge Charles. I have a oh, feeling I know no. what I'm drawing tonight as a warm-up. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome for all these ideas. <laughs> Charles, but a Sif. Oh, Jesus. No, um, that has bad implications. He's a great gray wolf. What are you talking about? Lord. The quarter staff. Lord. A tree. What quarter he's staff? Got a tiny, he's got a tiny stick. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be heading out. If you need us. Here. I'll hug Luna and Joy. Please, don't do anything I wouldn't. If things seem rough, run. Uh, Uragai, Charles tosses you a stone. I catch it and look at it. If you need us, he pulls up a stone that's similar to that one next to his mouth. You can just talk to us on this. And it, his voice comes out <laughs> through the rock. In four. Uh, I love radio. <laughs> Do we know what radios are? Uh, All I know is it's it a rocks. sending stone. <laughs> I was I half know. I was half tempted to talk as a trucker because I can do the accent, but I'm not gonna do it for her. <laughs> I feel like it fits his personality too well. Just has these random skills and like voices he does. Howdy there, Chuck. We got a little bit of a, a 49er on the F-150. Well, uh, we're gonna need some backup over here. <laughs> it ain't <day> over. <laughs> yeah, say over. Damn four turtle sensei, I'll be right over and. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright. So, they all give you one final farewell, and they start to head out. I'm gonna move out of the way of the door. I like to think that Kay just flew up this time and gave Chuck a hug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead of having him bend down <laughs> like two fucking feet, I was just chasing the. Kids. Are you actually chasing them? Yes. Oh, they're gone. What? What's what? What's up? <laughs> I was like, give her one last hug and then give her his cloak. Keep it safe for me. I want it back next time I see you. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but um, make sure you protect I'll it. I'll follow to watching them go. If that's the case. She reaches into her bag and pulls out an older version of your cloak. Doctor, magic is weird, man. It's time. I already <laughs> have this, but thank you. Oh. I and huh, if you already have it, then what's the point of me giving it to you? <laughs> I I can treasure it. It's cleaner. It's 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 newer. Right, but the Yangzo won't have it. Well, that was yeah, but the Yangzo won't against. have it. Then you take it. <laughs> Give it to Zell. When I'm older. Okay. I, I... It's weird talking about me with my old name. I, <laughs> I feel like Kay's just gonna follow along. It's, and he's this is how like it works. I like the point the person at the front is probably so confused. Eh. They're not as confused. Fair enough. Yeah, they know, oh, Ray. <laughs> just walks back. Um, Luna, Joy. Kay's gonna reach out and pat Arlos on the arm. Be like, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Will it be? And then Kay's also trying not to cry like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Stay like strong, Dart. Okay. Stay strong. <laughs> oh. I looked over here like that. <laughs> Pathetic. Wait, that's my child. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alina, you want to come up and say something? I presume? Oh, watching them go. All right. Sorry, I I read the room wrong. But yeah, you watch as they all walk out together before up oh, before they head out the door, going wherever it is they're going. Uh, flight. Hey, we're good parents, right? We're great. <laughs> just two fully grown men <laughs> leaning on each other, just bawling their eyes out. <laughs> I, thought, I thought over here, like, what the fuck they cried? They're gonna be okay, right? They're gonna be okay! <laughs> uh, guys, they're from the future. Obviously, they'd be okay. Like, they would have died already if they weren't gonna be okay. No! That's how it works! I, I want to. I want to then. Oh, oh! I hit the side button on my mouse. Whoops! Don't do that. Ah, I'm simply just don't do that. It's bad for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fix my screen. What? You need to fix your screen? No, no. I I had uh, adjusted the uh, zoom in. Oh. And, it, and it put it back. I want to oh. walk out to them. Ignore the ping. That's my ADHD break going off. Uh, so I, I want to walk out to them and go, uh, I will mention, though, uh, Charles doesn't remember me getting him a gi. Huh. <laughs> Suddenly just <laughs> Kay straightens up and goes, oh, that's new. Wiping tears Alina away. Alina just raises her hood back up to hide her face as tears fall to the ground. <laughs> what a terrible day for Rain. Would immediately go. They are not our kids. 
Just immediately. Who are these people? <laughs> I found you, faker. <laughs> oh yeah, you're the faker. Faker. Is that a, is that a Sonic reference? Yes, it yeah, is. <laughs> Sonic Adventure Two. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Sonic and Shadow me for the first time. Uh, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm making mac and cheese! <laughs> <laughs> that uh, sounds so good right now. Oh man, that does sound so much. It right does. Now. Yeah, I, mean, I want some angry mac and cheese. I've been seeing that shit all over Instagram and the I really The fuck is angry some. mac and cheese? It's mac and what cheese. Angry. Angry. What's angry it's mac and cheese? It's like mac and cheese with like fried chicken, like some different kinds of sauces and stuff. Like there's a lot of bunch of shit in it that makes it look oh, nice. totally unhealthy, but really delicious. That so, sounds delicious. As you're all standing there, you hear some heavy, echoey footsteps coming down the stairs. Well, that and, never bodes well. And you watch as an armored figure comes down. He makes his way across. Oh, oh, this so asshole! Hey, Ava! Right, so, you done with your so business over there? there? Oh. So I see y'all are here as well. Someone hold me back. I'm gonna oh, reach over. Is there a guy? I wouldn't gonna, do that. I'm quickly reaching over and grabbing Octod by the back of the neck, like, don't! You see, this place has some rules, so... Long as you're all in here, there should be no violence. And after all, we're peacefully, aren't we? Just, Just a thing. flashback to Urugai and uh, Charles punching each other in the chest. Mm hmm. That's not violence. Uh, you were roughhousing, yes, but it wasn't violence. Uh, it's technicality, but we know what you mean. Yeah. There is no intent to kill. Yeah. More like a tent to harm. It's more of a show of affection. Exactly. Yeah. They're just like saying, that's okay. Now, so remind me, he did betray us, right? Who? Dance? I want to get myself Yeah, he's stuff. an asshole. Okay, I'm just making sure I've, I've got it correct. Fuck now, dance. if y'all get out of my way, <laughs> I got some business to attend to. And what exactly would that be? That's private business why would he tell us he's the enemy from my perspective you all seem to be the enemy that's how mm. enemies work fair enough but if you'll excuse me I do need to make my way across and uh, we gotta see if we mosing on out of here gotta pay the toll buddy it's appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, my gold! Octave would like do a little slap in the back of his head. Be like, yeah, yeah. You try, but you watch as his hand smacks your hand away. <laughs> also, are you even tall enough? Let's I'm go, sorry. you know. If you're not, stand on my shoulders. <laughs> Well, you a stepped away, so I'd have to jump. Ava, our business concluded? And you watch as this figure turns around in sitting at her table. As she reveals her face, that's the wrong character there. <laughs> that's, that's wrong. No, that's the wrong character. <laughs> Ignore Blanc being there. I don't know why Blanc is Blanc there. Blanc is Ava. Yeah, we... Our business is concluded. Got access to the mine as I wanted. Now, I feel like we should make our way there. Make sure our investment is secure. Did we hear that? No, oh, yeah, you can hear that. Good. Let's go mine up that orichalcum like we need. After you. He's gonna like stick his head between Alina and Octod and be like, Mine? 
what mine. And you Can want I do you... a history track to see if I know what Orc Halcom is? Sure. Can I as well? Sure. Anyone who's um, familiar with ores or materials can do a history check. I don't know if I would be. I'm trying anyway. Well, I don't know shit, that's for sure. <laughs> no! I feel like having this information would be nice. I thought you do know that it's a rare metal that is hard to find, but on the rare occasion, there are small mines of it. You're not sure exactly what it's used for, though. Mm. And you watch as Ava Hastings and Paladin Dance make their way out of the inn. God, I'd say we follow him. We don't know what we're getting into, though. Uh, we don't have to I mean, follow them. Have we known any, what we've been getting into? Okay, look, fair enough, mister. I organized a union, almost. It went pretty well. Until it, it didn't. True. Until it didn't. My fault they didn't have a spine. You know what? Valid. Well, if we're going to do something, we should probably be quick there. Getting away. What about the kids? We can't just leave them with Penny again. Mm -hmm. Pinthrus might rip her scales out, too. Eh, Poor thing. She'll be fine. Ah. You know that she's a fur dragon? Yeah, she might rip her fur out. Yeah, what if we just pay her? Alright, well, who wants to Would ask her Would you rather nicely? we bring them near I... that bastard? Oh, no, I didn't say that. Penny, sweetie, can you watch the kids for a little longer? Um, yeah, I can do that, but I don't know if Renthris would be alright with that. Also, you might want to take, um, is that Isaac? I, I walk up behind him and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll take the terror that is Isaac. You watch as Isaac is just bapping Fenthris, whose head is still in the couch, and you just <laughs> pick him up by the scruff and he's like, what? Come along, Isaac. We have adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Octod will lift uh, Fenthris gently, you know, Contrary to five previous actions, gently lift Ventress out between the cushions. <laughs> Why is he holding me? Thanks, Penny. Let go! Let Sorry go! Sorry about Octa dumping the kids on you again. <laughs> Let go of me! I will give Ventress a gentle pet. She's just shaking and watching you closely as you pat her head. You are a, <laughs> you are a good dragon. She softens up a little bit at that. You called me a dragon. Okay, kind yes. of leans around no. Octon. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I can picture that, like the front-facing perspective on that, and that looks really funny in my head. <laughs> Who are you, oh. and what have you done to Octod? If you can stay and watch the children and protect Penny as you always do, I will get you a treat of your choosing. Of my choosing. Of your choosing. I will also she's, pitch in. She squints at you, Akdad. Like, completely ignoring you, Kay. Not, like, host hostily, but just, like, focusing on Akdad. Deal. Okay, just name, just name your price and I will I will retrieve it. Just take care of Oh, the, I will name my price. Important. Okay. Well then with that, Octa will gently put Fenthris down. She sits on the couch, still squinting at you. All right, well, we'll be off. Octod will give Penny a little smooch. Hmm. Aww. You watch as she gets a little redder as you walk away. Careful. Kay is gonna, like, stop by and kneel down in front of Charles and be like, All right, squirt, <laughs> listen up. 
I'm gonna need you to protect the others. We have to go on a quick little uh, detour. Do another job. I say kneel down, but he probably doesn't even have to. I'll, I'll touch Joy's part. shoulder softly and let her know we will be back. She say, come on, me. Yeah. I'll see you soon, Dad. Okay, it's gonna, like, do that funny little bird thing that they do and, like, just kind of, like, rub his beak in his hair and then get up and, uh, walk back to the others. Oh, with Isaac in tow. <laughs> I think preening. Preening, thank you. I could not think of the word. He looks happy at that as you walk away. And then he goes back to his whacking with his stick. I... Like, I Zell, watch this! What the heck is the wall? Random bird qualities, like if, if Big Charles just starts cooing randomly. I'm like, begging. Gets really Lady gets really excited or something, it just comes out. Uh, just wait till older Charles comes back. I'm just waiting for that excited, happy, random chirp. And he's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, now that Octa's back to the he's like, alright guys, let's go get those letters. Alright. Hey. Okay, he's just gonna tuck Isaac in the front of his shirt. Like, stay <laughs> there. <laughs> you all run out the door following Dance and Ava as into the cold, slightly snowing uh, outdoors. A nice, fresh pile of snow has been laid over the night. And you clearly see Quite a few footprints heading in different directions, but you do notice two trails heading off towards the north, the southern side of the town, closer to the forest. Almost as if it went to a distance, uh, to a location you went previously. Yes, you had a full rest. Alright, so I guess we should go look for clues then. Um, go ahead and roll me a survival to track the footsteps. As while they when they enter the forest, it starts to get harder and harder to track it. Well Oh. Oh no. Huh. Alright. As you all head in to the forest, following the footsteps. They start to cross ways with different animal prints and different leafage and twigs that have fallen on the ground and it just gets so hard to see where they went that you lose the trail. You have no idea where they are. We got two more people that need to roll. I mean, everyone kind of took time to say their pieces to the kids, so... Also, hydrate for everyone. I'm eating ice, does that count? Yes. It is water. Technically? <laughs> uh, hey, unfortunately, I do have to disappear for like five, ten minutes. I'll be right back. All right. Uruguay cannot do it. A... A... I can't see your roll. Are you on roll 20? Because um... if not, can someone tell me her rolls? Oh, it was well, a five. It was a five. Got it. So yeah, you lose uh, track of their footprints. Unable to follow along in the foliage, the twisting of trees and roots, and the branching paths of different tracks overlapping. Now it's 14. Still. Damn. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would be hard to keep track of tracks in the snow if it's snowing. 
Yeah. Hmm. And we well, are still in the Let's go back. Right? Yeah, you do. You did head back to the forest, but and you can find your way back, but it's um trying to follow where they went is the hard part. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I want to see if there's been like any disturbances in the area itself since the last time we were here. Um, heading towards the place where you fought Blunk, or just in uh, general, in the general forest. Um, where we fought Blanc. Okay, I can bring you on there real quick. Because this was heading towards the ice lake, right? Yep. I forgot about did. the giant bob in the corner at the bottom. <laughs> you do not recognize the bob in the corner you do not re see a bob in the corner this is not the bob you're looking for <laughs> several references are being made so what would you all like to find in this area what would I like to find a track what will I find I don't know Agreed. I, like, I was about to say, I would also like to look around for tracks. You do find, uh, roll me survival checks, and then if you can read them out to me, please. Oh. I have oh, a 16. Oh, oh. I got a 1. Man, you suck. Bro, I don't know what is going on with me. The last two sessions have not been good. 21. <laughs> Alina got 17. Um, Arlos, you find old. some nice looking berries to eat on the ground. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, uh, you could do with those as you will. Um, Kay I and Alina. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Write mystery berries on your sheet somewhere, please. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, no, not not you. Uh, oh, Ar Arlos, Kay and Alina, you do notice a bunch of foot tra footprints from yesterday, uh, including yours that you find. And if you wanted to, you could track your way back to the to the lake. But nothing currently seems out of the ordinary. At least that you can see at your position. You good, Sammy? Yeah, struggling a little bit with the crunches. It's full. I'm trying. A breathe. It's less of a breathe and more of a he. <laughs> Don't you correct me for real. I was trying to, um, whatchamacallit. Noted. Arlos does do the same thing. Um, but yeah, besides a couple berries, um, questionable, none of you know. See anything notable really around here? The snow has kind of covered up most of everything that was there, including the summoning circles that were uh, made inert before. Do you all think I should detect, ma see if there's any magic in the area? Be pretty good. 
I am going to cast Detect Magic. Where is that gate you should be looking? Is this another path over here? Or is this just how the, it's drawn? One second. One? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Disadvantage on your next roll. Um, which with no! that? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll go over here. Over here? Um, is, this, is this another path, or is it just like? That is map? just the map. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hell. Nothing within your immediate vicinity, but in the air, you do feel a slight hint of magic. You're not sure where it's coming from, but you do recognize that it's coming from this direction. Well, time to play the hot and cold game. Let's go! <laughs> and you were able to see that, yes? Eh? Mm -hmm. The ruler? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Beast way. Yum. Yum. Yeti boy. Well, I yummed too hard. Yum. Oh, glam yum. <laughs> okay. yeah, I like to think he has his hands up just slightly. Kind of like, not like dowsing rods, but like a sort of magical metal detector, kind of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like that old magical focus pose. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you, you feel a scent, uh, kind of scent or aura of magic coming from this direction. And you know this is away from the lake. Hmm. Uh, y'all, I feel magic coming from down this direction. <laughs> Does it feel sinister? Ah, uh, do I feel that, Sammy? It feels magical. It what? feels magical. <laughs> well, well, alright. <laughs> Whether it's ominous or sinister, you can decide that yourself. You feel the magic in the air tonight? You can feel like calling in the air tonight. Hold on. Holding? Hold on. You can feel Holding. it. <laughs> That's not to the lyrics. <laughs> Does it feel like an asshole cast it? <laughs> <laughs> no, not necessarily. It does <laughs> smell faintly of cheese. What? Uh, that's a very distinct smell. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking like provolone. Like what kind of cheese are we talking? Uh, the plastic American kind. Ew. <laughs> Should we follow it? We got no what nothing else to do. <laughs> I like to think that while while uh Yeti's gone, I think I like to think Ur guy just kinda follows us like a weeping angel. <laughs> <laughs> he do be following you. <laughs> um let's see. Going to creep. He's a coil head. Oh god, no! <laughs> I'm having flashbacks! <laughs> Alright, give me survival checks to make your way down this new path. That's not really laid out. Bitch! Or marked out. Making our way oh. down. Yeah. I'm going to do somersaults in. Never mind. Never mind. Alina got an 11. There it is. Alright. So you start to head down this path, and the trees kind of clear up a little bit. But as they do, a dense fog and harsh, harsher snowfall is making it extremely hard to see even the next two or three steps forward. And Arlos... You go to take a step in front of everyone, and you don't feel the ground in front of you. Oh, oh no. As you feel uh, two hands, one by your kneecap, the other by your midsection, 
as um, Atta and Kay pulled you back from falling off a cliff. Oh! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I like to think Kay's just like frantically flapping his wings, pulling him backwards, like, nope, not today! Octo <laughs> like, you know, Cat, you don't have nine lives, you only got this extra one. And you hear Uragai in the back just going, You should really look where you're stepping. <laughs> I would if I could see! Skill issue. <laughs> He doesn't say that. He doesn't say that. <laughs> God says that in his head. Back, we back, we back! Yeah. What do you mean, Eh? Uh, uh, Kay did say that he, he was pulling you back. Oh, okay. Well, I thought she's kind of holding you. That's what I thought. Bite your pants. Uh, if you try to walk away, it's a little hard. <laughs> Fair enough. Your Fair leg enough. pulls against the pants, and then whatever tension that brings, that's as far as you get. I'd rather that than, you know, I'm not alive right now. Mm -hmm. well, I owe you a drink for that one. And you all just find yourself in this dense, hard-to-see fog. Snow whipping into your eyes and ears. Just a chill all around. Let him fall! <laughs> you know where Alina's alliances fall? Yeah. With Arlos. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Tish. <sighs> hmm. Would lighting a torch allow for better vision? Um. You can always try. I will. Tr I don't like the way you just said that. <laughs> Uh, I guess, uh, I guess we do that. Would the glow of my katana help in these freezing conditions? You can always try. Arlos will light a torch. Alright, you go to light a torch, and as soon as you get a few embers on it, Ignore the, wi that. the winds blow it away and turn it off. The heavy snow and the winds, along with the fog, make it extremely hard to light a torch in the first place, but then when you can get it lit, blows it out immediately. Well, so much for that idea. And Alina, as I'll you pull out my katana. As you pull out your katana to light the area, you watch as the blue shimmering light from your blade brightens up the fog in front of you and the ground, but can hardly peer pierce past the denseness of this fog as you can see about five feet around you at least in any sort of light I'll look for a safe path around us alright oh, she said I'm going to use mage armor because I don't like the sounds of this yep Go ahead and roll a what you gonna call it? Survival check again. All right, you're able to find your way to a small cave opening. Um, that. So sorry about that. I'm back. Hi, back. I'm Sam. You find yourself coming to a small cave opening that can shield you from the, um, whatchamacallit, from the, I can, I can, words, I swear, that can shield you from the harsh weather outside.
as you all appear in a new location. And let me clear up an area for you. Boy, I love the darkness. Why does that feel like that would be an actual cutscene? <laughs> I feel Mickey, like Mickey, why was. are you here? <laughs> Lo and behold, this is actually been a Kingdom Hearts D D campaign. <laughs> the door to Kingdom Hearts is light. As you all find yourselves able to squeeze into this area here. I'll reveal a little more. Just give me a moment. Uh, don't reveal too much. You might, you might get your stream canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reveal what I want. The TOS can't stop me. I'll keep my blade raised shadow of the Colossus style. Yep. I appreciate that. But there's always at least one person that appreciates my stupid jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else am I supposed to do with them? Not like they're good. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. All right. Let's calm down over there, buddy. All right. All right. Alina and Uragai. You thank you. If you'd like to place yourselves on the map. Also, Alina, like you'd probably be up front if anything. That's a wall. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wall. She's merged with the wall, one with the shadows. And yeah, you see a the cold walls of a cave in a slight tunnel. As the deeper you go in, you find it to be pretty short with a locked door in front of you. Uh, Can we pick anybody, the lock? I was about to say, anybody want to try and pick the lock? Does anyone have a lock pick to do that with? You can see I think Alina would probably be the only one. I mean... I do not have to. Do we know it's locked? Our space person to the wall. <laughs> I mean, last episode I was doing pretty good just busting through everything, so worst case scenario. Someone jiggle the handle. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, see if it's even locked. Well, Alina's up front. If any of you want to try anything. Oh, do it. Do we, I mean, if we don't have any, like, lock picks, do we have any cards? Like credit oh, cards? Like I like, forget, did I keep the tools Zephyra lent us to escape prison? You kept the one tool that she dropped for you. The lockpick, I mean. Yes, you kept the one tool that she dropped. Not a whole set, but just the one tool. It might be enough. Maybe you should do what she does and keep a set in her tail. I'm so proud of her. She really takes after her mom. Better God damn than it. nothing, I'll try because I it's don't me. have any other sets. It's me. I'm her mom. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. Aren't you also hers? Is there some sort of weird paradox going on here where she is both her daughter and her mother at the same time? Yes, it's called being a self insert character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like so, I think Kay's beak is chattering and he's like hu like huddling in on himself. Like I'm a bird, I wasn't meant for cold weather. Meanwhile, you're the one who's most prepared for cold so, yeah, weather. We'll try it. All right, yeah, go ahead and actually go ahead and yeah. roll me a sleight of hand. Go ahead, Penguin K. <laughs> oh, what dog? <laughs> I say there are birds meant for cold weather, like a penguin. Uh, okay, well, they... Well, I was gonna say they don't fly, but some of them 
can't fly. Well, actually, Kay, you do find your coal, your core a little warmer than it usually should be in a place like this. Weird. Well, thank God. All right. You think that you're getting it before it, you feel one of the tumblers slip, but luckily your fast-acting hands are able to catch it as well as slide down and click the next two as you hear a satisfying <laughs> as you feel the doors unlock now. It's yeah. sad that I feel like we're listening to the, the Team Rocket uh, base theme. I will push it open slowly. You hear the large creaking of a metal door that you just pushed in front of you as it echoes deeper and deeper into what appears to be a cave system. Insert Resi 1 door uh, changing screen. Nice. Yeah. Watch the windows. <laughs> oh. oh no. Arcus, welcome in. I haven't even played any Resident Evil game yet, but I will soon. I will soon. Oh, Doc, please. I know. Listen, it's it's slow going to expand my repertoire of games that I've played. Watch I, the bathtubs might be a crimson head. I played the first one about like a year or two oh. ago. The first one original or the first one remake? The first one remake. Anyway, I've or heard remaster. Whole thing, so. uh, that's kind of a remake. No, no. I, I got no stuck. Remaster. I got stuck. You got stuck? Yeah. Oh, Resident Evil. I thought you meant... No, I, I I got stuck in Resident Evil. Yeah. It's okay. It happens. Yeah. I got stuck in Zero. Oof. But anyways... Then again, Z Zero didn't I have good directions. I know you, nothing about Zero. You do open the door. Help, Step Chris. I'm stuck, lol. <laughs> oh, no. Step Chris... <laughs> I was drinking water. <laughs> you killed Yeti. You drowned him. How dare I was I? chewing on ice. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> we oh no, you choked Mikey and drowned Mikey at the same time. <laughs> Mikey starts choking on ice. The ice melts. You're no longer choking, but you're <laughs> drowning. <laughs> Do you want to step further as you just open the door? Yes. Luna is heading the group. All right. You head in. As you step through, you watch as it opens up more, and the floor seems a little wet. There seems to be running water on the floor here. God, this place reminds me of Penny. Oh my god! Oh no. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't help it. Everything's blue. It's tight corridors, and now he said, and now Sam says what? Oh, Octod, okay. you feel a nice warm smack in the back of your neck. No one seems to be there, but you feel something. <laughs> I am plenty pleased with myself for today. All right, there's my one good joke of the day, and I'm done. One? You had two so far. Ah, shit, you're right. I gotta go for three now. Yep. Yeah! Should we split up? It's a split crossroad. Oh, I, Octod says... Octod thinks you should follow... The water. The water that's flowing this way. Yes. That's what he suggests. 
Octon cannot see the water. He can only hear it. I think it would be better if we all stuck together for the moment. We don't exactly know what we're getting into. To be fair, if there is fair trouble, enough. how will we defend ourselves? We're kind of packed in here like sardines. What's a sardine? It's a type of fish. Oh, that sounds delicious. Salty fish. That sounds less delicious. <laughs> Ironically, I want to try a sardine once just to know what it tastes like. You're not missing out on a whole lot. They're not the greatest. I've heard, but I want to know. Can you show me? I am willing to try any food. It's an acquired taste. So I've heard, but I'll still, you know, try to acquire the taste. Like pufferfish. However, with pufferfish, you have a chance of uh, not walking away after you eat it. It's a win-win. <laughs> well, Lena, it's your call. You're you're leading this troop at the moment. What do you want to do? It was flowing to the left. To the left, to the left. Yeah, like that. To the left, yeah. You asked me which way it was flowing. I'm sorry that it connects to the same place. Uh, look at all this connection. Yeah, and it does flow left again. Big connect. It does come from this way over that way. And then splits here before heading that way. Arlo's move your fat ass. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, they love it, all right. This is the most Scooby Doo thing we've done. I haven't got that any complaints about this. We gotta navigate the dungeon. And you watch as the water flows out through here. As well as some of it flowing this way. But there's a big opening there. Cool. Cool. Keep going. I say keep going to the left and we see what's there. Mm hmm. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I have to do a reveal, which is. It's a different button. Yeah, it's a different button. <laughs> You see No. You watch as um this old sewer with very, very chilled water um is spewing. It kind of flooding the whole area. Well, this is interesting. Moving right, so whoop. they can come in. What you guys reckon uh, this is drinkable? Uh, maybe Octod ducks his head down and just takes a, a gulp. Fucking no. <laughs> Romeo Constitution saving throw? Oh my god! <laughs> 14. Alright. You do not reel back from the chill of the water, but it is very clean. That is the best water I have ever had. It is extremely cold to your teeth. Oh, I hate that. Oh. 
<laughs> Wait, please get brain freeze. You don't get brain freeze, but you can feel the chill there. <laughs> uh, Octog would, uh, would <laughs> breathe his cold breath on Decay. Be like, ah, oh, it's cold. You feel it? Hi, it's, it's cold. cold. <laughs> Jump away and be like, dude, what the fuck, man? Did you need to yeah. know how cold it was? I already know how cold it is. My feet are in I it. I will fill my water skin. All right, you able to fill that? So, Sam, I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. Would it be par for the course for Urgai to wander off? That's up to you. It's your You're character. You're playing the character. No, no, no. I was just asking. You could, if you want. You are I'm allowed. Gonna I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Urgai has left the party. <laughs> Urgai has left the party. <laughs> No one would notice. He kind of just does this. Yeah, <laughs> he, he sneaks away at the slightest. He's not sneaking. He just walks away, and the group doesn't pay attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's gonna meet up with the group at some point, and I'm gonna know he's left. We'll, we'll notice when combat's initiated, and, <laughs> and you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> it do be like that. Hey, kind of just steps through Hold the water on. and looks around. Isn't it dark for him? Um, I do have dark vision. I think was it dark vision or was it? I had something. You can check. It should be on your sheet. Yeah, let me look again. Uh, where would it be at again? Um, at bottom to left of your sheet, I believe. How dare. How dare one of my players goes and nourishes themselves. How <laughs> fucking dare. The audacity. You I wanna know what... sure? No, I'm joking. I'm Doc said he'd go for food. I was making a joke. Well, if you heard my, my munching on the cookies, no, now I, don't, I don't hear shit. Same. Same. I was talking about Doc, who um, uh, was going for food. Apparently I don't. I thought I had like a dark vision. Do you have low light? Uh. I thought I had something. I can't remember. Laps in druid produce flame. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Sorry, I had to... <laughs> So rude. I'm just joshing, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Lena laughs and glowing sword. <laughs> <laughs> laughs and glowing sword. <laughs> Features and traits. I wonder if I'm just thinking of a different character I was playing. It seems like you might be. Yeah, I think I was I, I was misremembering something. But if anything, you can light a torch in here since there is no wind to blow it out. Yay! Maybe I have character in Matisse campaign. Yeah. Do I have torches? I can give you one. I have one. I don't think you know where I am right now. Well, if you come back... You should have thought of that before just putting <laughs> off! <laughs> because I thought I, I thought I could see in the dark. Oh, I do have a tinderbox and torch. Haha. Cool. Well, I have some press the vegetation. <laughs> <laughs> That makes a very small light. Hey, it's still it's still light. It's 
Someone just fall down the stairs? Are they okay? No, they're chopping up something downstairs. <laughs> okay. No, they, they yes, they are okay. No, they did not fall down the stairs. Okay. Well, if we're not going to move. Chopping up our loss's old body. Hey. Hey, that's rude. He would make a fine whole meal. Hey, <laughs> oh. What? What happened? <laughs> At least someone appreciates me, damn it. Quick question, say would would they be able to see me through like that gap where that pipe is? Um, they can see under the pipe as it's like above head level. But um they cannot see you from where they are at. Okay. Sure. You jump Holy as shit, I actually thought I offended for a sec lol. No. No no. Okay, you jump as Uragai makes his presence known from around the corner. Uh, what the where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did, Where did you come you from, Captain I Joe? <laughs> I went for a walk. Uh, clearly! How did you get over there? I walked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I can, I can see. No need to be sarcastic with me. You asked how I got over here. I walked. Fair enough. Alright, uh, I'm gonna light a torch. I'm gonna go over this way. Over which way? Over that way. Okay. Over yonder. What? My sword not good enough for you. Not when you're not moving! Also, you'd be able to see a little more here. And... Motherfucker, talk to the team. The team's damn near just splitting up and doing their own thing! I'm not actually gonna go this way, but Kay's gonna, like, use Produce Flame. Just to light up a little more. Uh, Urgai, passing that up, you're able to see that this is a room in here? I'll stop and walk back and look in. And look in? Yeah. Okay. You see two white, kind of imp-looking things in the corners, kind of chewing away at something? I will keep walking. Want me a stealth check? <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ruh row raggy. <laughs> Ruh -ru. oh, pretty good. Thank you. They don't seem to notice you over their loud. <laughs> I'll walk over to I'll walk over to K and Arla. There are creatures over there. Creatures of the night. They have wings. Okay. Okay. Just kind of chuckles and throws the the flame ball back and forth between his hands. <laughs> fool, 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 fool. <laughs> you watch as the light kind of flickers and the shadows move as you just move the light from one hand to another. I wonder if I could take them. Do I need to back up for them to get around me? You can let them through your space if they want, if you want. Yeah. Or as I said, I'm pretty sure portals are pretty wide, right? Yeah. But uh, you can walk through friendly squares, no problem. Yeah. Would you like to try your hand at them? You can what? I have thorn whip. Yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> You both have Thorn Whip. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Crass. <laughs> Which Sam didn't add to Mr. I... E. I'm sorry. I knew... I was forgetting a lot. Also, I'm populating this map as we go. Okie dokie. I want to know, know where the way in is. Excuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> they turn around and roll for initiative. <laughs> no, Kate, Kate, go back. Go back. <laughs> Thank you. You can, st you can start initiative sell. there. <laughs> Damn it, Colonel. Why? <laughs> It was too funny to pass up. <laughs> you know what? I respect it. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Shit. Hello oh. there. I didn't go through, but General I didn't Kenobi. Go through all right. So, 21. who all rolled? Urugai needs to be in there. And I'm going to get mine to come up, but it's not going to Did you click on your token first? Yeah, I'm having some technical issues over here. Oh, the whole thing no, crashed. you're fine. Uh oh, yeah, I know. Well, God, you don't have to be so conceited about it. Mm. It's confidence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. And they roll. I remember what Sam used to be nice to me. <laughs> oh, shit. He still is. So currently they're only aware of me, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're they're both coming at you. As well, you don't know what's happening, but it's your turn first, Akdad. Well, same as I have no clue, I'm just gonna go follow the group. You can do that with the right click uh, as you drag I, your character. I, I know, I'm literally doing that. No, no, that's with the ruler. Wait. You can do that while holding your character. Oh! That's what I've been trying to tell all of you! Well, I thought you meant just for the ruler. Nope, not just for the ruler. You can do that while dragging your character. Octa wouldn't know what's going on. He would see Arlo's... And be like, I'm just gonna go around you here, bud. And be like, and go behind Uruguay. And I don't know if he could actually see past Uruguay because he's bigger than him, I think. You can. Be you like, can see oh. that there is something there. Two things there. Wow. Things. They seem to be little white imps of some sort. Flapping uh, their wings. Octon. Octon doesn't really know what's going on yet, so he's not gonna be aggressive or nothing. He's just gonna end his turn there. Okay. Um, next up is gonna be this one's turn. It's gonna fly up to you, Uragai, and slash out with its claw. Does a 19 hit you? Yes. Cool. Um, it'll deal four slashing damage and four ice damage. Alright. Arlos, it's your turn. Alright. So then 20. 25. We're gonna move over yonder. Okay. And we go on and do a little slashy slash. Alright. some damage on board. Go ahead and do a slashy slash. And do some damage onto the board. Oh, beautiful. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll for damage on the board. <laughs> 11 slashing damage. You watch as you kind of clip this thing's wing clean off as it falls to the ground and is like screaming at its own wing being cut off. And as well as um. you see like I see, I see smoke coming off of the wound. I see smoke? Like, you know that your frosty breath from, like, yep. a steamy thing? Yeah, that. Oh, well, I guess I should even you out there, shouldn't I? We'll go in for another strike. Okay. Roll for attack. 
Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. That is a miss, unfortunately. As you swing, but catch yourself in the doorway as your sword is a little big for you. Oh god, I'm about to get goblin slayed! <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's no. this <laughs> it's this thing's turn. As it turns to you angrily and lets out a breath of cold air at you. Burr. Uh, go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Yeah, it's like a dragon's breath. Okay. Well. So. Full damage would be eight. But since you succeeded the dexterity saving throw, you take four. Oh, that's fine. Four cold damage. Just a bit nippy. And the floor come, becomes a little bit icy and kind of freezes yeah. over. You're fine for now, but at the start of your turn, I will need a dexterity saving throw. Oh god, it's like grease. Little bit. Or, <laughs> you know, ice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, or ice. As these squares get taken up. All right. Um, Uragai, you're up. Hello, can I hit it from here, the one over here? Yeah, you can hit it. Yeah. Alright, I will. Use Draconic Strike, uh, fire. Okay. <laughs> That's a hit. Nice. Unless we didn't automatically roll for damage. It's not automatically rolling for damage? Well, you can... Because it used, to, it used to roll both. Um, if you roll the die next to the name, it rolls for the whole thing. But if you just click the bonus, it just rolls the bonus. Gotcha. Alright. You watch as your fiery fist hits this thing and breaks through its chest as its large pointy nose kind of loses definition and just shatters on the ground. Holy shit. And the rest, the rest of it melts into smoke. I will move up to the next one. Mm-hmm. And I will do the same thing. All right. Go ahead and roll for attack. Yep. All right. So, yeah. That is a hit, and with this thing's 10 hit points left, as well as it taking double damage from his fire vulnerability, <laughs> it shatters. In fact, you even defrost the the floor where Arlos was standing. Thanks, buddy. It's a little wet, but, you know. They were not friendly. Yeah, I could, I could see that. But you tried your best to be friends with them anyway. Now, what did we learn? That this area exists. I, I just go, I just go, oh, hey, look, a door, and I keep walking. You watch as these old barrels and crumpled up pieces of wood and rubble are littered throughout the room. It seems like this cave or this place used to be used to hold something, but was long abandoned. Can I check the barrel? Sure. Yeah. Also, also, Sam, I don't know why I'm suddenly making him act like he's senile, but it's a thing I'm, I'm doing for some reason. Fair. All right. So you check the barrel. Um, go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Um, baby, what the fuck, Richard? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> high or low? Oh, no. I'm rolling a D100. High or low? 
Um, do you mean higher than what number? Like what I just rolled? Or? The high side of the dice or the low side of the dice? Oh, easy. We're going to go with high. What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> you will not believe what I rolled. What did you roll? Okay, on the tens die, I rolled 60. And on the singles die, I rolled a nine. Let's go, baby! Okay, okay. Um. Okay. You find a rotten banana, oh. a rotten cucumber, oh. and four rotten tomatoes. <laughs> Damn, that's a really low ro rotten tomato score. Holy shit. <laughs> Erotic toy. I can make them into erotic toys if that is. <laughs> Two, in fact. <laughs> I had to for the 69. Huh. Fair enough. Alright, but that's what you find in the barrels. Alright. Do you take them with you? <laughs> Sure, sure, why not? Why? You Just take why? the rotten fruit and the single vegetable. Hey, I can throw Nasty. them at someone. You never know, man. Sure. Oh, I'm saying. If Octod made the bad joke, he'd get a rotten tomato thrown at him. So, can we check this cave-in area? Sure. It's a little hard to get through, but you can squeeze in enough just barely. But I will need an athletics check to make sure you don't trip and fall backwards. Quick question. Oh, wait, is, is it clumsy as fuck? Quick question. Is it made of ice? No, it's frozen rubble. Gotcha. So it's slippery, but not as slippery as, like, a big old block of ice. Oh, my ass is... They caught me slipping. Oh, stumbling. Yeah, oh. you try to perch your foot on one of the <laughs> ledges that you find, and it just slips right off. Whoa, dude. I want to attempt to do what Arlos just did. Okay, roll an athletics check. Yep. Why don't we just break this? It's rock, not ice. We have a martial arts master who punches holes through things. Uh. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> you watch as this big white turtle slips through the crack, no problem. Just, just step, step, step. Through it. Just step, 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 <laughs> arms on the wall and the rock and just pop. It just turns to you and shrugs. I just look at him. It wasn't that hard, and I keep walking like I'm old. I will just look at his hands. I need to go to the gym more. <laughs> okay, he's just like, what's a gym? <laughs> and, nobody, and yet nobody questions the Ur guy is freakishly athletic. It's like a gaim, but, you know, spelled differently. <laughs> like a what? A gaim. <laughs> oh. Because Kay asked what a gym was. <laughs> Can I just Eldritch Blast the rock? You can certainly try. I don't like when you say things like that. I will mention to you, Arlos, I mean, whatever works in this scenario, I am behind those rocks. Yeah. Oh, no, you're, you're Turtle Sensei. You'll be fine. Just hide in your shell. Just hide in your shell. That seems a little rude. Yes, I'll, yes, I will definitely hide in my shell when the ceiling comes down on top of me and you are the reason for my death. I'm just going to be blasting these rocks here. It's not like I'm going to be... Can you no, control can't. the power of your Eldritch Blast? I would certainly hope so. <laughs> if not, oh man. Because if you can't, I don't understand how anyone spends the night with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Questions for later. Kay, can you control your Eldritch Blast? <laughs> He's like, 
<laughs> it's just like, I don't have an Eldritch Blast. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. <laughs> Milo's wants up to climb over the rocks again. Okay, athletics check if you will. Can Octod control his weapon? What the fuck? You just can't seem to find purchase. There's nowhere on this rock where you can just get through. Nah, you that's it. I'm using it there. I'm, I'm so Octod will try to bash through the rocks. I'm <laughs> using my knowledge from a past life. I'm rolling my d6. Okay. <laughs> when you can build a skill, you can roll a d6 immediately after seeing the number in each one. Okay. Yeah! Huh. What do you Sorry. add? Okay. I know, right? Hey! Yeah, you're, you hear a voice in your head uh, speak to you and be like, Three points of contact. Make sure you keep watching where you step. Keep your hands stiff and your legs in motion. As this old authoritative voice is yelling at you from a distant, foggy, vague memory. Thank you, Ritzenbody voice. That was the best advice you could have given me for this. Took you long enough. Uh, listen, man, not everyone's a kung fu master. I'm you... going to proceed to try to knock down the rocks with my body. Okay, <laughs> with your body? I'm going I'm going to push the rocks down. I'm going to ram it. You're going to ram the rocks. Like with what of part of your body? All everything. Okay. So our Octod is going to smash the rocks. <laughs> That's not what I'm thinking. I don't know why, but I'm thinking of the the scene with the uh, oh I can't remember what the name of the movie was, I mean, with, with the guy thrusting through the water that but with rocks. Nope, uh, I don't think of its fists. He said his whole like body. I think it was oh, like I the twenty five. It's just not popping up. Ooh. Okay. Um. Yeah, you're able to push the big boulder out of the way, and, like, you're able to just walk through and make room enough for, like, anyone who wants to crouch through get, to get through. I am here. Why didn't you do that earlier? I don't know. Was a face palm? <laughs> Because the player that controls Octod was eating. You know what? Thank Respect you him. You're welcome. Player and see, I was thinking of the group. Could have thought about the group earlier. What the fuck? I was eating food. I couldn't think about the, eat, think about the group earlier. Yeah, he was just <laughs> chilling, eating some food down by the river. <laughs> I had some big ziti and mashed potatoes. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, from away. So, please ignore me as I frantically find stat blocks for different encounters. <laughs> no. On the fly DMing. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I'm fucking EP. Tonight, guys. Eepy. I feel that. Yeah. It's been one of those weeks. Like I just felt tired all week. It's Tuesday. It's Thursday. <laughs> it started Sunday. <laughs> oh man, it's been a hard two days, fellas. It's been a hard week for me. <laughs> Uh, understandably so, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's Monday? Order, no! <laughs> Mordred, you're a little off there. <laughs> that or Mordred's in a whole other time zone, didn't tell us. 
I mean, she is from me, but it's not that big of a difference. I'm in the same time zone as Morgan. What, what, what time zone is Morgan? That's what I'm saying. Not only do I have to improvise tokens, but I gotta improvise. Uh, if today was Monday, Gandalf would be having a graham cracker. It is her favorite activity. Her? It's a reference. Improvise to... these nuts. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Alina, you get disadvantage on your next check. Got her. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it, it, yeah, I'm seriously so tired. I, what the hell? It's the ZD, okay, bro. We like... got the Itas. No, I was tired before that. Oh, I've been tired all no, day. No, actually, no. Thinking about it, no, I'm not. I, I just suddenly. Jokes on you. I have a luck point left, Sam. Okay, I make you waste an, a luck point. Fine. <laughs> it's still a win for Sam. Well, everyone, there's a fork in the road. Which way do we go? Mm. Pull a scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz and be like, well, I think I saw him go that way. Or maybe we could go that way. <laughs> or whatever. You know what they say, might is right, so we go right. Might makes right. That's such an evil, evil way of thinking. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> I'm with it. Urgai's just kind of wandering around. Urgai? Speaking of possible evil, looks like there's a skeleton. You see a skeleton? Oh, as well as roll initiative, please. Oh, I just see the skeleton. I look over in the corner. Oh, god damn it. Uh, play, try not to add yourself again. Just roll initiative and change your roll. Uh, uh, Alright. Might have accidentally... I think, just auto -did are... it. I think it just auto did it for me. My rolls are not coming through. Is my. Oh, okay. Never mind. That works. Uh, I rolled a 14. It's not. Oh my god! 17. I'm also having problems. Oh, is it just not letting you adjust it? It was not. I got it for you. Yeah, I have. Thank you. I had that problem earlier. Well, like, I could click on it, but every time somebody changed theirs, it would stop letting me change mine, and I'm like, ah. mm, Yep, I, I feel that. All right, Alina, you see Urgai go like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What would you like to do besides cry? Because I know I want to do that. I meant that as a joke. I meant that as a joke. What was about to say, Sam? <laughs> I, I realized what I was saying. That's a joke. It was also more how you said it. <laughs> I meant it as a joke. Because I know I can sound serious on purpose. But my timing can sometimes be bad for comedy that is good. I well, feel Sam, bad. you'll have to tell me what to roll bonus wise for this. Oh, right. Um what did we say your modifier was? Or what your spellcasting ability score is? Was it Wisdom, intelligence, or charisma? Because it would be... Oh, excuse me. Intelligence, since they're all plus one, and my intelligence is 13. Noted. So that would be... Um... Yeah, your intelligence modifier plus your proficiency bonus. I believe that's it. Arlos, can you double check what your spellcasting bonus, how that is calculated for me? Uh, 
my modifier is plus four, my spell attack is plus seven, and my saves are fifteen. Yeah, can you tell me how your uh, uh, spell attack bonus is calculated? You should be able to like hover over it at the top of your spells. It just says modifier plus four. I oh mine are charisma based. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, they would be charisma based. Yes, but I can figure out the uh, process for eva uh, getting the numbers the same way. I'm confused. I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to look it up. Oh, um, the only thing I see at the top of my spells is modifier plus four, spell attack plus seven, and if I hover over it, it just says warlock. Um. Okay, so yes, it is your spellcasting modifier, so that'd be plus one, plus your proficiency bonus, which is plus three at this level. Which you, for you, Arlo, since you have plus four as a modifier, and plus three as a proficiency bonus. That's what gives you the plus seven. So plus four for me. Yep. Trust me, it's not hard to hit this thing. All right, you hit this thing and you pull it five feet closer to you, and I you deal. Um, Kate, how much damage does your um your thorn oath do? Is it two d eight? I will do the thing. Please think and thank you. Oh, it's two d six. Got it. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and roll two d six. Seven damage. All right. You hit this thing and pull it closer to you. Good job. That the rest is that your turn? As you watch your bracelet like furl unfurl into your hand and you just whip it across and pull this thing closer before it goes back around your wrist. Well, didn't we say I could use this as a way to pull them in for a katana attack? Yes, but it does take your action to use it. Because it is you casting the spell. Alice, I hope you mean that in a good way. Damn it! No! <laughs> but yes! <laughs> <laughs> I just see that and I'm like, I need then context. Yes, that's all then. Seeing as there was a misunderstanding then. Yeah. Uh, apologies. I tried. Um, then... Or a guy, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna fire punch the one next to us. Yep. Go ahead and do your falcon punch. Watch it be a falcon miss as per usual, isn't that right, Doc? You Talk might be shit. surprised. The fitness gram pacer test is A. Kick your ass and smash again. <laughs> That's a hit. No, Mordred, he would still hit with a nat 4. Nine damage? You melt this thing alive. Is the skeleton an enemy, or is that a... Uh, it is skeleton. on the ground. Wait, one way to find out. Limp. I want to move over to the skeleton and examine it. 
Okay. As you ex go ahead and roll an investigation check. Hello. Hello. I think we lost her. Testing one two. Oh, Discord. Yo. Yep. Oh, there. Hey. Am I back? Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> Everyone does it now. <laughs> Me. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll an investigation check to check out the skeleton. Yep. <laughs> Watch out, I'm gonna shoot you, you up. Mm -hmm. Do lipstick look damn cool. Yeah, your shoes are looking good. <laughs> okay. As you lean in close to examine the skeleton, you watch as the arm sits idly at its side and it stays limp against the wall. That do be a skeleton. That do be a skeleton, though. <laughs> <laughs> you do see a chest next to you, a small one. Okay. Okay. I would say, I would say <laughs> examine the chest. Okay, go ahead and investigate the chest. Because yeah, I don't trust the fact there's a dead body next to that box. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. All right. You reach for the chest. And as you try to open it, you just hear a nice... <laughs> Is locked. Can I? I want to say, can I attempt to force it open? Well, would sure. that be strength or? Do you want to punch the lock or do you want to punch the box? It is the just lock. a old wood. If you want to punch the lock, you could do that as well. Yeah, but I just be using my regular attack or. Yeah, just regular attack. All right. I think I break the lock. Yes, yes. Roll for damage. And what kind of damage? Right, it, it, I'm just using my hand. Yeah. Oh, j so just a punch. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll for damage. All right. You all hear the sound of smashing metal. And, Urgai, as you pull your fist away... The lock is just snapped off. Open the box. You open the box and you see a small pouch. Here I want I, I want to open the pouch. Okay, you reach for the pouch and you open it up and a bunch of spiders come out. No, I'm joking. It's uh <laughs> You see a bunch of gold in there and some platinum. And you can go ahead and add 608 gold to your inventory. Damn! I will be right back. I had to go get my laundry. Yep. Er By, I can't remember. Did I? Did, did we establish that there was nothing on the skeleton? Um, there's some ripped pieces of cloth, but other than that, it's just a skeleton with a shovel next to it. All right. You can see some scratches along the shovel. You're not sure if it's from wear or tear, or if it's from battle. But it's there. I'm trying to think if we would need a shovel. They let you dig up um, treasures underground. I'm going to take the shovel. Okay. Go ahead and add a shovel to your inventory. Also, I forgot to 
reveal this little bit of area down here. I am sorry. And very corpses like the ones the forest hid. <laughs> you would have seen that as you walked past. Would it be under Still. equipment for shovels or? Uh, you just go to manage inventory, and and uh, it should be there. Just type in shovel. But yeah, you all should have been able to see that when Uri passed it. Nice. Alright, I'll walk up back towards the rest of the group. All right, you walk up to the group. What else would you like to do? Um, does anybody else want to do anything? The silence is deafening. It's amazing, isn't it? Hello? Hi. Hello. It's the okay, five G's. I, okay, I was just checking to make sure people were here and I wasn't having mic problems. No, I can <laughs> hear you. Because nobody was saying anything. I could hear Sammy, but that was it. I'm tired. Blinded I feel that. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna wander this way. Okay, you go ahead and wander that way. Hi, tired. I'm Sam. Also, Doc, I hope you're okay. I just heard that smack. I don't know if it was you or Yeti. That, was, that wasn't me. Uh, no, that was my dog. Yep. She she went to spin around to adjust herself and hit her head into my bed. Oh, oh no, baby! No. The baby. But yeah, that is what you see starting to head around the corner. As I continue to frantically populate this area. <laughs> With more and more bullshit. I thought I angered Doc and he smacked something. <laughs> That's what I thought! <laughs> <laughs> My anger comes in two forms. Unyielding rage and scary <laughs> silence. <laughs> yep. Excuse me. You're all good. No. See, I did bad. You did terribly? Thank you. You're welcome. Bad, Sammy. Thank you. It's what I deserved. So where were we? Oh, moving on from that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm trying to do a bunch of things at once. You see uh, another sewer opening, letting out some more water. I shall approach. Okay. You approach the water, and it's a cold. It's cold. <laughs> I'm surprised Urgai isn't having any cold problems. Bolt. It's a cold bolt, an ice cold bolt. 
I'm, you know, I was gonna say I'm surprised Urga isn't having any problems because isn't he, isn't he cold blooded? We ignore that. Potato tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. Well, what time is it? Eight fifty-five. Um, yes, yeah, same here. It's eight fifty-five. Yeah. Uh, okay. We've been streaming for two hours. Is everybody just tired today? Is that what, is that what's going on? Yeah, it might I be. I yeah. don't know why. I'm just very tired today. Very... I am not tired. Yes, you're more tired. Anyways, sorry, Anyways. Oh, right, more. <laughs> God damn it! I was not setting up for that. Setting up for what? What happened? Hi, I'm tired. Hi, tired. I'm dead. <laughs> Hi, dad. I'm tired. <laughs> Go to your room then. I am I in my this. room. Then go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. But you're tired. Me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Right. When your Sam gets like this, wrap it in a bank blanket and make it a burrito so it becomes a burrito. <laughs> I agree. Take this advice. Sam. Yes. Why well, couldn't the bike stand on its own? I'm sorry? Why couldn't the bicycle stand on its own? Because it was it too was tired. Too tired. <laughs> what do you mean? Guys, my bike has four wheels. What are you talking about? That is not a bike. You guys have bikes? Your mom lets you have bikes? <laughs> no, I walk. Your mom lets you walk? You have legs? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> You have mobility? <laughs> okay, I think this is a good time to take our 10 minute break. Oh my god, I need more caffeine. The, the 5G's be hitting hard. They do. I need more food. I've only eaten once today. Go you guys eat. have eaten today? <laughs> don't get me and started. Bonka Sammy. No, don't bonka the Sammy. I was, I was doing some hate scrolling. <laughs> okay. We'll be back soon. You'll soon see. You'll see. <laughs> yeah. His Can't name was Alexander place. Anderson. Like this emoji, Sam cheese. No, no, no cheese. <laughs> we'll be back though.
everyone's fucking tired. <laughs> We're all tired. Yeah, I'm yeah. tired. That's the and word. And I sent Sam a message, lol. Don't bring attention to it, Mordred! Chugging soda. <laughs> we are back. What'd you send, Mordred? I want to know. <laughs> no. I, I, but I must. No. Oh, oh, we're back? Yeah, we're back. Oh. So, Doc, what that. Mordred said was... <laughs> <laughs> I, I will take the bonds and stride, man. Wow, okay. Uh, so we're and back. Cucumber for Sam. No, 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 no. That has several connotations. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we're back. Everyone's in an icy cold cave. And their asses are freezing. Uh, Uragai. But my blood is burning. But my blood is burning. Yes. What would you like to do? I will continue to walk into the room. Okay. Continue walking forward. Do you able to see down that pipe a little bit? Or is, that, is there any... Can I look around the room to see if there's anything? Um, there's some wooden planks on the floor. You assume that might be from, like, a walkway or a bridge? You're not sure a bridge for what reason, but... There. Uh, I'll keep walking down the hallway then. Okay. Continue walking down and you see another opening. Oh, I think my shit broke. Oh, yeah, it done did a broke on me. It done did broke on you? It done did a gone, done, fought it, god damn it. Broke. Well, that's ain't gonna do well for us. Alright, this... it. Okay, good. Yeah, also, here. if everyone would like to catch up. Catch up? Ketchup. If anyone would like ketchup, ketchup with their fries. Ketchup. <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't know the lyrics to the song. Ketchup and mayo still taste good if you mix them together. They do. Ew. What? You think, it, right? I thought the same thing. It's, it's called fry sauce. Mm -hmm. Some burger sauces mix those and relish together to make... To make uh... Yeah. But it's surprisingly tasty. I don't do it that often these days, but I did a lot in high school. What are we mixing? Ketchup, ketchup and mayo. And mayo. Oh, that's just how you make burger sauce. Yeah. The... You can also buy it in a store called Mayo Chap. I'd rather make it myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. The balance has to be yes, right. You got yeah. yeah, you gotta do it how you like it. Yeah, like like deviled eggs. Arlos, you look up this way and you notice oh, a oh, sort of magical oh, spring with oh, water oh, just Pouring out of it, kind of like a fountain, but without a clear source. Arlos is parched and will drink from it, because holy fuck, we've been here for a minute. Alright, go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, fuck. No, it's the same thing for me, you'll be fine. Uh, we've seen how the athletics Watch roll a one. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Constitution, you'll be fine. Did it, did it not roll? I don't see it. Then again, roll twenty is being slow today. Yeah. There we go. Oof. I'm a I'm a do okay. knowledge of past life. Holy fuck. Yep. So this is sewer water. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh god. I'm, I didn't I know. How immediately we all get very defensive over making a joke. How often can you use that, by oh. the way? This is my second one. How often can you use it? Oh, three times. Okay. One time per um. A number of times per equal per check. per skill check? Yep. Okay. Then in that case, you take two cold damage as your teeth kind of freeze with no. the icy cold water. You know, yeah, when it... you drink cold water after brushing your teeth, it's very brisk. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. I know it's not, I don't want to distract you too long. But remember, like, brisk iced tea? I don't know if anyone remembers this. They oh, my God. I yeah, used to I know, drink right? some of that. It... They, they 
I was thinking of the old commercials they had with the snowman, and he would drink it to, to refill himself. He'd be a skeleton in the beginning. The problem the was, the I would drink what? it before bed. Wasn't and I didn't know it was a caffeinated drink. <laughs> that, I think that shit had a lot of sugar in it, too. It what, had so it? much sugar in it. Wasn't that, just made the ad where he pull, wasn't that also the ad where he was like in a dryer or something and he pulls a bra out of him? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there I've is, seen that commercial. There's a, few of the, there's a few of those. But yeah, the old Brisk commercials were pretty good, and now Brisk just kind of exists. Dude, why is I remember when commercials were creative. Here? You guys remember the Chef Boyard E can? I guess the one that follows the child home. Yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, hold on. Hold on. When worded that way, it sounds so creepy. <laughs> it, it follows the child home. It's like it follows the child home to be opened and eaten. What else do you want me to say? That is what happened. I don't know, but like the way it was worded, it just sounds creepy. There's no it other way to word it. That I understand. It does sound creepy, but it's not incorrect. <laughs> It, it literally stole itself, delivered itself to a child which it followed, and it allowed the child to consume the inside of it. Mm -hmm. That shit that used is... to be so good, so... and now... Yeah. Arlos. That, that just sucks. Yeah. You find yourself in an old, abandoned, kind of prison-type area, where you can see a couple skeletons, one in each, one, one in most of the closed cages. Oh. There's the one that you can see, there's one here, and one here. Here, one here, one here. Are here. Uh, I would like to investigate this one. Okay. Um, the door is locked. Oh. Hey, Alina, you're here. Can you do me a solid? All oh, right, so... I'll take... Okay. <laughs> you, you tell him to pick this lock for me. The door is pretty solid. It is metal, metal after all. Solid as a rock. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. <laughs> all right, he deserves it. What? And why is that? Oh. Yes. You know what you did, apparently. Apparently. Like, I don't know, I guess he just doesn't like you. <laughs> what were we doing? Uh, I forget. Unlocking a prison door to check out a skeleton. Uh, I shall attempt skeleton. to pick this lock. Okay. It do be an old lock, so it's not going to be that hard to pick. Oh, if it was old, can I have just broken it? You could. This whole place is old and kind of in ruins. Sounds like me for real, for real. Good lord. Well. <laughs> well, damn, I didn't have to know your history, but okay. <laughs> so, sleight of hand, right? Yep, sleight of hand. Slit of harm. That's called the murder hole. A what? A murder hole. Giggity. Nine. Don't go to the murder hole. That one, Yeti. It's an <laughs> actual thing where it's like built in the castles so where um, bowmen can shoot arrows out of buildings. Um, Yeah, um, that'd be enough to get a nice kerklunk out of the uh, the prison door. Barlos will give Alina a head pad. Good work. And the door opens. Alina, as you reach in and investigate the skeleton, I would like you to roll an investigation check.
Okay. Looking closely at this skeleton, you watch as the arm sits idly by its side. Before it reaches up to you and tries to attack you. Roll for initiative. Uh. Well, fuck. <laughs> Pardon? There's a skeleton! Da, da, da. Rattle me bones! We just gotta breathe on and he'll die. Shush. You know, I've honestly thought about making a skeleton artificer named Rattle Me Bones. <laughs> no. no. I approve, but no. Is everyone on? Where's the guy? Yes, I'm Shoot having her. minor technical difficulties. Shoot! The fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know. I think an alien what? invaded. Is someone getting probed? Oh, no. Ominous bell. That wasn't a bell. <laughs> that did not sound like a bell. That sounded like a uh, black and white horror movie sound effect That's for somebody walking cool. around a corner. Right? Uh, that sounded more. That sounded alien to me. It sounded like, like... It sounded like an old black and white horror movie. Old magic being cast. Oh, it actually You're goes an first. Alien, just kidding. Also, I rolled a one. Yeah, you'll be fine. Maybe I think. So it's gonna. One. It's gonna pull a short sword from out of the ground, and swing at you. Actually, hold on. Let me roll this first. Okay. Yeah. One moment. I'm so sorry. I couldn't get to my mute button in time. Bless. Did you sneeze? I barely yeah. heard it. I heard the start of it. I, like, turned my head away and leaned away. Okay. <laughs> it pulls out a short sword and swings at you, Alina, for... What's the bonus on this thing? For 16, does that hit you? Yeah. All right. Then you're going to take five slashing damage as it comes down with a icy cold sword. But it's icy because it was in snow and ice. All right. Akdad, you're up. As you watch another skeleton start to stand up behind Arlos and pull out its bow. Uh, pardon me, excuse me. Uh, I just, uh, can I hit him through the, is this, a, is this like a gated Yes, it's door? like bars. Could I hit him through the bars if I use my axe, like through the slit? At a minus five to your attack roll. Sure. Uh, where is my shit? There it is. Well. So minus five, that is four. You do miss as you chink along the bars of the jail cell. Uh oh. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Uh... A link. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that'll be uh, that'll be the end for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's a skeleton behind Arlos, who is gonna. Pull out its bow, and it sees a nice juicy target right in front of it. So, you're gonna get shot, probably. Through the bars? Through the he's bars. Offended you got meat on, he's, got, he's offended because you got meat on your bow. Does a 13 hit you? It does not. Okay. 
one moment as I write down some numbers. I should have just tried to break the bars. You break right. these cuffs. K, your turn. Oh, you can't God. break those cuffs. What would you like uh, to do very... now that you see skeletons? <laughs> tight space. I, I'm all the way back here, man. I don't fucking know. Oh, God. Da, 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 da. That that feel good. <laughs> I uh uh can I let? Am I wait? I'm within melee, right? You are With within melee range. Okay, cool. But there is a corner if you want to like try and hide from it, unless you want to attack it in melee. Uh. Also, nice bird formation. <laughs> Kaka! Um. Mighty ducks fly together. Bird. I think I'm gonna just stand here for now. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Apparently, Sam's allergic to your bullshit. I said thank yeah, you. Clearly. Okay. I said okay. But thank you. Uh, Alina, you're up. You just got slashed by a skeleton. The bitch. Kaka, bitch! Kaka! I'm chicken, hear me roar, boy. I'll slash back. Remember your origins. <laughs> Insert picture of Dino Nuggy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm not actually wild shaping, but it's like. <laughs> you turn into chicken. Roll intimidation. Bark, bark. That's a hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. That's a long title for a sword. It is a long title. It is a custom weapon that I added Moon Touch to. <laughs> so, and Frostband. And Frostband. Meanwhile, I have like mechanized axe. Oh, a mechanized great axe. And then acid. Okay, it's not as short as I thought it was. I, I come up with names. Don't worry about it. That's um, fine. So two-handed with cold damage and sneak attack. That's 13 damage. Cool. 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 Um, you watch as you just shatter this, uh, the ribs of this skeleton, and it just falls to the ground. Huh. My shot. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that all you would like to do? Or is That's there what you get. Bitch spits that last word. That's what you get. When you let your heart win. Uh, Arlos, you're up. Damn it, Sam. Whoa. I don't know what that one was. I don't know what that is. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa. It's a song. Paramore. Paramore, yeah. So if I use my greatsword, I will get minus five here, right? Yes, as you are attacking through the bars. Man. Right, Man, that's some sick bars right five. there. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, will I still be at a disadvantage if I use Eldritch Blast? No. We're going we're gonna to do some blasting. Then. You will be at disadvantage because you are within melee range. Fuck! Then there's no real difference. We start slashing, then. There is a difference. It's either disadvantage or minus five. Ah, you're right. You're right. But you know what? We're going. To st we're just going to slash. Okay. You get minus five to the roll. So you can just roll normal, and then we can subtract five after. Ooh yeah. Uh, 
All right, natural 20 minus 5 is 50. I'm joking. That's a natural 20. <laughs> I, I was like, what if it was a natural 20? Okay, natural 20 minus 15. <laughs> minus 5, 15. Minus 15? I was joking. I was joking. Okay, but go ahead and roll damage. Critically. Which is just a damage die twice. Oh, okie doke. Yep. So 12 plus another d12. Or no, d 2d8. I forget how great Bad. swords 2D6 work. 2d6 plus 5. 2d6. So 2d6 plus 5 and then 2 more d6. Not at plus 5. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, that's crits. So I would just take away the 5 here. Then. Yep. It would just be... It's an 11 after that, then. Cool. You watch as you take your sword, slide it directly down the bars, crack it into the middle of its skull, and split it as you keep going down its spine, and then through its pelvis, and you slice through its legs, even though there's nothing in there. So you just slice down to the ground, and it just splits apart. It made the first shot count. They tried. <laughs> Skill issue. <laughs> it do be a skill issue. <laughs> so yeah, that was that combat. <laughs> nice. I was there. And Watch you did it. wonderfully. Alright. So you see the skeletons, the closed prisons, and a door at the end of the tunnel. Or the, the room. Not the tunnel. Are these papers actually here or are they just a part of the map um they are a part of the map but i can come up with something no. <laughs> just if you'd reads. like to look <laughs> it just uh, says yeah. get wrecked bitch <laughs> <laughs> sure i will, I will investigate that. the infamous grocery oh, shop forgot to get shields be back later be back <laughs> <laughs> Went out to buy milk and cigarettes. They're prison <laughs> records. <laughs> hey, uh, Sam, quick question. Yeah. Yes. I have this, um, where the fuck is it? The Ancestral Legacy, and it gives me something for investigation and perception. Does that just add proficiency to it? Um, it gives you two proficiency. Uh, oh, no. I believe it gives, uh, go ahead and roll it, please. Yeah. Uh, if you replace the race with the, 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 any skill proficiency you gained from it, uh, you can keep following elements from the race. Okay, so whatever skill proficiencies you did get from your previous um, uh, race, so say you were a an elf and you got stealth proficiency through that, uh, becoming mm -hmm. a reborn, you would keep that proficiency. Oh, so okay, you okay. do have proficiency in investigation and perception. That's what that's saying. Right. Yeah, Basically, it's so just going... bonus proficiencies from your race. Yeah, so I'm going to use the I'm gonna add the plus three to that then. So it'll be fifteen. Um, does it is it marked down on your sheet as proficient? Is like the black dot there? Uh the black dot. Yeah. Oh, I, mine are red. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. But yes. Then is already counting it. Ew. Yeah. Okay, I'm just okay. gonna double check. Oh, it's a white dot for me. But yeah, yeah, it does mark down as already proficient. That works for me. Yep. And then if you want to do the math yourself later, you can to double check. But yeah, you do see, um, find, looking at the papers, you do see they are prison records of the individuals who are kept here. Huh. Well, well that did a little... The first one in the top right, you can see um, labeled... Uh, no, in the bottom left uh, is labeled Private Ryan. Um, I didn't it, save him! In, <laughs> in the... <laughs> In the center on the right, 
you saw that person's name was um uh hold on what bernie Um, huh. and um and the top one is uh Joanne R or Joanne K R That's weird. No, that's that's, really weird. that's not a reference to someone who's hateful. Uh anyways, um oh, okay. Let's see. Here I'll I'll write the name out in the group chat. I kind of get it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I kind of get it. Um, it's also my mom's first name, and then my first and middle initial. Oh, that was, that was weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Anyways, what would what else would you like to do? I got nothing. Also, you Baby. see a random lion mane in this cage. <laughs> the mane of a lion, no skeleton or nothing. No skeleton or nothing. Can we go and grab it? Sure. You, as we'll you grab it, as you reach through and grab it, you see some uh, scratches on the wall. One, it looks like an M, and then a U next to it, and then it just trails off. Oh, that's fucking ominous. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's. Okay, it wasn't supposed to be ominous, it's supposed to be funny. Oh. Well, that one went over my head. Like airplane jokes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a lion vein. M-U. It trails off. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, you can add Lion Mane to your inventory. It would have to be a custom item. Like, custom, make a container, just name it, whatever. Um, but yeah, Alina, you do walk up to the closed door at the end of the room. It does appear to be locked. As a way to keep prisoners from escaping. If they escape their cells. Mufasa. What was the question? Wait, would I, would I know that or no? Know what? The... About the prisoners. Um... I mean, if Arlos wants to make it known, or he passes it around the paper. Yeah. So you see Private Ryan, Bernie, who missed a weekend, and um, <laughs> Joanne J. K. R. Well, I'm doing good lock picking. Let's do it again. Yeah. Go ahead and go for it. That door is not a problem to you. You just put your finger in there, flick it slightly, and it just click and swings open itself. What in the foreplay? I thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm doing epic tonight. Yeah, all these nat 20s. And against la CR one fourth creatures, you're doing great. Thought I'd be, I'd be condescending you, Sam. <laughs> I mean, if you want some combat, you can just keep going. Onward and for glory. Uh, Urgai, Akhtar, would you like to catch up yeah. with the rest? Oh, oh yeah. 
<laughs> the five G's. The five G's. No, it's just the five eeps. <laughs> the five eeps. So I'm going to be honest with you, I almost dozed off. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's... More like four G's. Everyone's tired. Yeah. Groggy, groaning, graceful, and great. Spooky, scary skeletons. And two first animals. Um, <laughs> if you want, we can call it here for the night, and we can pick it up uh, next time. Uh, that's up to everybody else. I, I I can try and keep going. If everybody wants to keep going. I am no, okay. I'm good to continue. I'm okay with whatever. I just want to be certain, because I know some of us are tired. And hungry. I'm just chugging a Coke over here. Not sponsored. But yeah. if they wanted to, they could pay me. I also <laughs> drank a Coke earlier. <sighs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Ow. I think I just pulled a muscle in my chest from that laugh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Which way, guys? Thank you. I say we go left. Yeah. Uh, this way does seem to be caved in, by the way. Just assume that any, like, edge of the map is, like, a wall or caved in, please. No, how dare you? The audacity. Okay, this think. is the entrance over here to another dungeon that's, like, twice oh, as door. big. A double Damn dungeon. They have these invisible walls. Damn these <laughs> walls! Cannot go past here. Do not pass and go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. And three times yeah. as deadly. And three times as deadly. Just like level seventy-five creatures ready to murder us. No, they only <laughs> go as high as forty-five. Okay, in my defense, this is my very ever first D and D session. I don't know fucking shit about leveling. Max character level is twenty. Ah, okay. Cool. And the most no. dangerous thing is CR-45. Okay. I'm never going to remember that, but good to know. <laughs> yep. That's a wall. Gonna... That's not a door. Yeah. That's a wall. <laughs> Alina, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot for a second, Sam. Thank you. For remembering, or a guy, you can Scooby Doo all you want with K. K just turns around. And is like I'm not letting this turtle out of my sight. <laughs> just nobody else notices he's not going the same direction. Where was? What about Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo. -doo. Ooh, See, there's an old adage in D&D. &D. It's called, don't split the party. <laughs> You're free to do whatever you want, but I'm just, just like, split the party. I'm just letting you know that is an old <laughs> adage. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Give me one second. Let me keep up with this. Okay. Where are you, Doc? I'm below. Cool. Uh, go let's go to Alina and Arlo's first. Okay. I'm not just gonna come back covered in blood like, hey guys, what you doing? I said Alina and Arlo's were a guy. I was trying to put him back because I, I grabbed him by accident. You were stuck with me regardless. Stop calling me that. Oh, fucking zombie. What would be really funny is if they turned around and realized that nobody was with them. Oh, sorry. Alright. You two head forward. And you see some more openings. Is it more openings or is it just one and the other one is more so just caved in? Uh, the other one's caved in, but there is a, a, another opening to the left. Okay. <laughs> to the left, Same to the left. Off. 
And there, I'm going to cut you off. Urgai and K. We go to you. Okay. You reveal that area. As you see, uh, the area trying starting to open up a bit to your right. I want to go that way. You want to go that way? Yeah, that way. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll cut you off there, and we'll go to Akdad. <laughs> Akdad, there's a little bit of a rock. <laughs> there's a little bit of a rock in front of you, but you're able to like squeeze past it if you want because you're small. Yeah. And you see some shambling, moving objects around you. Uh, a couple coughing, some corpses, a couple ghosts. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all of you roll initiative. Oh, for fuck's oh. sakes. We gotta save the small kobold. But you don't, don't know what's happening. You don't know it's happening. You you don't know know. It's happening. Suddenly, just boss music in the distance. <laughs> oh, don't worry. This isn't the boss fight. Huh? What? I mean, it's just some Zambos and some ghosts. Though, that being said, I don't know if I have a way to deal with the ghosts. Eight. Seven. Zambos mm. are gonna be six. Twelve. Shush. And four. Twenty-two. Shush. Much. <laughs> okay. Okay. In that case, uh, I'll get back to you in a second, Octad. Arlos, Alina, Urgai, and K. You all look into this large, unassuming room. Eh. And you see a oh. large skeleton kind of buried in the snow over, he oh. over here. Oh no. As the snow starts to like pick up and uh move away from itself as this skull comes slowly and slowly more further up and out of the ground as well as the rest of its skeleton popping out of the ground. Oh, oh shit, no. He's animated. He is animated. Oh no, he's multidimensional. Kinda. How, how the fuck do we beat him? He can only attack in two dimensions. We should probably put the initiative in order. In a moment, after I get everyone's initiative. Because now we're doing two combats at once, thanks guys. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Sammy. You're welcome. Alright, so... Oh, my fault. I my, my parents right. split up. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I think we might lose an octave. We might. I got this. Guys, it's two zombies and two ghosts. They're not very high challenge ratings. We can still jump you! Like it's JJK! Okay, and there is, but the, the about the hit, about the hit with the meat is Black Flash. The giant skeleton... <laughs> oh, it has a minus one to initiative. Interesting. No, no, not one. Oh, I turned that off. Elena, I can't do the thing. I'm too far down on the initiative list. So unless you want to wait. Alright. Too far down. You're at the very bottom. Uh, like I said, too far down. <laughs> Screw it, I'm high enough HP. Alright. Fuck yeah. Arlos, you're up first as you watch this skeleton peel itself out of the ground. Oh, man. Shouldn't you be too stiff to move? What the fuck? Okay. 
Well, we're going to cast Hexblade's Curse on it. Okay. What modifier are you choosing? Or ability score? Aww. Wait, what? Oh, Hexblade's Curse. Never mind. That's not Hex. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, you got that. 10, 15, 20. So if I move here, right? If I move here, am I in melee range and it's a bigger creature? Or would um, I have to be up here? You'd have to be there. It takes okay, up a 3x3. Three three. We're going to move here. I didn't notice the shadow is also animated. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I actually noticed that first. All right. This We're going to. Combat. <laughs> <laughs> We're, go... <laughs> We're going to use our first charge of our Bankai here. Okay. You activate your Bankai. Uh... No, I am not changing the name. Just leave it as is, please. Yeah, it's, oh, so we can't do that. We can't do bug or ba fucking Beyblade. But we can do whatever. Beyblade's <laughs> the name of the show. Come on. <laughs> Careful where I stand. Uh, thanks for the heads up. I'm pretty sure that is my turn because that was both an action and a bonus action and you move okay also um what are you picking as your element for your bankai um oh right i have two i have two now you have two now hmm well clearly frost damage is not the way to go here so we're going to do a lightning okay and yeah, sorry about that. That's poor timing on my uh, my end. I wanted to do ice stuff. Didn't realize I was gonna use a lot of ice stuff. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's all good. Octod, you're all alone. Yeah. <laughs> but you got friends now. I do. I'm gonna attack this guy right next to me. Okay. Well, you attack first, an sure. actual zombie and not just Arlos. What? First, I'm gonna go into my rage. I'm not a zombie. That was the joke. Oh, I was trying to stay quiet so hard when, when Alina said zombie. So I am now raging first. That's you are the action. Angies. I am Angie, and now I go to slay. Yeah. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Yes. Plus the rage bonus, which is another two. Yes. All right, you deal 19 damage to this thing. As yeah, is that your turn? Uh oh. <laughs> uh yeah. Cool. Um, one second. I'm running a couple numbers over here to keep track of stuff. Next up is my man Skeletor over here. Look, he has a target for right, right in front of him. Alright, he's gonna swing down at you with his... Because oh, you're right there. Very delayed yeah, response. Hi. Yeah, I was typing. I'm sorry. Alright, you're, you're, it's gonna swing at you for... 17? Does that hit? Yep. Okay. Second attack is going to also be a... 17. Oh, no! Alright. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, the first swing is... 28 damage. Oh, fuck! And the second hit is 30 damage. I'm sorry, what? Yep. Bye, guys. <laughs> I think you guys are in more danger than I am. This thing makes... Oh, that that's... Yeah. 3d12 plus 6. Oh, no. So... 
Oops. <laughs> um, next up, it is this creature's turn. And it notices Alina standing there. And it's going to fly down from the ceiling and try to attack you. With one of its claws. Yeah. Does a 14 hit you? Arlo's gets healed twice. I did skip. I was reordering stuff. Alina, does a 14 hit you? I assume it hits if it ties, so yes. Yep. So you are going to take. Bullshit. I'm sorry. This is just what it does. I got one um, two slashing damage and. No, you're not. Three cold damage. And that'll be. Resistance. It. You have resistance to cold damage, so you take half of three, which is one. That's how math works. Three. Um, three. Alina, you're up. Hang on. Hanging. Audio took a fucking shit. Oh, shit. So did you hear that you took three total damage? Two slashing and one cold? Because resisted... Sam, what's the what's the heal redeem numbers? The heal redeem numbers? Yeah. Um. Oh. Uh. Two D four. Oh, that's better than nothing. Two D four plus two. Thank you, Steam. Two D four plus two. So you would get four D four total. So six from the first one. Don't I need to do that saving roll? And six for the second one. Which saving roll? Um, no. You did not take enough damage to um, add a die to your weapon. Fair. So you do not need to do the roll. But it is your turn. And Arlos, as Stop you're falling over, anything. you kind of feel like a light pour over you as you hold yourself up. You can also stay in Bankai if you want. Thanks. You do what thing? Thanks, team. Okay, you give up all of your hit points and you auto hit with five total arrows because you give up 20 HP for this. What are you hitting? The boss. All right, you hit the giant frost skeleton. Frost giant skeleton. I can English. I can't half the time. Technically, you English correctly. You just missed a word there. AKA Arlo, stay the fuck down for a moment. <laughs> I trust in your aim. So yeah, you auto hit with five 2d6s. So that is what? Um, 10d6 total radiant damage? Plus whatever your weapon adds to it and that bullshit. 
And because Arlo's is within melee range, um, sneak attack, you would have disadvantage on the attack rolls, but you auto hit. Yeah. I gotta erase up to. Also. Make this thing's head off. And then also remember Wait. the thing we discussed. I am lost. You 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 deal four additional arrows. Each arrow. How many dice? Ten. Each arrow is two d six. You shoot four additional arrows on top of the one that you start with. You auto hit, so you don't need to roll for your attack. So that is five arrows at two d six each, and two times five is ten. So roll plus what? Uh, plus whatever your weapon does. So plus the sneak attack and the cold damage. I do not believe you add your dexterity to it. And that is the trade-off for making a ranged attack. Alright, 41 radiant damage. Thirteen sneak attack. And that's the one D six from your katana for cold damage. Alright. It seems like you did a lot of damage to this thing. In fact I would say that's about half of its health. Exactly half of its health. Um, but anyways, is that your turn? You also go down. So the, yeah, that's your turn. <laughs> Alright. Next up is a zombie's turn. Which one is it? Oh, it's the one next to you! Uh, yeah. Octod. So yeah, this one's gonna get angry at you for getting angry at it and I'm gonna swing at you uh, with two of its claw attacks okay does an 11 hit you no does a 17 hit you yes okay you take nine damage that's a slashing attack right it is a slashing attack Okay, I'm so taking four. Yeah, you take four. Kinda wish this hit point gauge showed for everyone. Um, I could probably make it so, but for now it'll just have to be what it is. The zombie cannot stop the Angie. It cannot. Next up is this little ice imp thing over here. You guys still don't know what it is because we've never rolled for it. It's gonna fly down here. Yeah. Um, just double checking. That is the wrong thing. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Um, where is its speed? There it is. Okay, yeah, it's gonna fly down here. And it's gonna breathe some ice. Uh, never mind. Alright, do, what do I roll again? Dexterity saving throw? Yeah. And it, as it frosts the ground? Alright, okay, I will also need a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Oh no. Alright. So. Urgai, you pass. K, you pass. So, uh, you both will take half of six, which is three. You'll take three cold damage. Three. Three. 
And then on the start of your turn, because you are standing on ice, I will need a dexterity saving throw to see if you can stay standing. But before that, there is a ghost that is angry at the angry boy. Which ghost is it? Oh, I don't know why he's angry at me. I haven't done anything. It's this one. You are attacking its not living friend. Also, you are alive and it likes her life. So, huh. I'm about to make it not living for sure. Okay, it'll use its longsword to attack you. What? Yep. So, yeah. Does a 13 hit you? No. Alright. Does a 9 hit you? No. Cool. Uragai, can you give me a dexterity saving throw? Ah, uh, yes. That breath. It's frost breath. Stinky. That will make it. You stay standing. Right. I'm still standing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm hit it with good. the fire the punch. Make it melt away like that. You're still standing. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll right. damage. Yep. I keep forgetting, I have to add the three, don't I? Uh, yes, you do. Yeah. So that'd be 12. Yep. And because you're doing fire, you melt the ice as well. Urgay's on a killing spree at this point. He is. What else would you like to do? Uh, oh, let me check that real quick. Uh, wh where does his space start? Um, it's the three by three. Wherever the sword, the sword is his corner, and where his foot is is the other All corner. Right. So this is his space. Yep. All right. Alina, you heal four HP. Now move over to the skeleton. And some of the radiant energy returns to you and fills you with life and beauty. I'm going to use Fire Strike, at, well, a Fire Draconic Strike on it. Mm-hmm. That is a hit. Hurt. Go ahead and roll damage. Yay! All right, that is another 12. That's 12 fire damage. All right. It doesn't seem as effective as it was with the other creatures that you were punching. But still as effective as it should be on a normal creature. All right. Let me see. What are the other ones I have? Bludgeoning, electric, acid, poison, uh, cold... I'm gonna try lightning. Okay. I mean, if you want to know what this creature is to probably figure out one of its weaknesses, you could ask for a roll or figure out what it is. I'm away I from my life. <laughs> All right. I can fly. You punch this thing again. Go ahead and roll for damage. Yep. Another twelve. Another twelve. Same thing. It seems just as effective as a normal punch. On any other creature. Is that your turn? Yep. Alright. Next is another ghost's turn. Ooh, spooky. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? Well, what if this ghost decided to... Screw the rules? 
to knock on your door a little bit. <laughs> shoot a bow at you. Also, can I mention how I rolled, rolled three twos in a row? <laughs> I mean, that's your damage, dude. And it's good damage, too. Uh, does a 14 hit you? No. Okay. Does a 9 hit you? No. Okay. Next up is whatever th this frozen little fucker's turn uh, is. Hope you guys are having as good of a time as I am over here. <laughs> He's gonna fly down right here. No, not there. He's gonna breathe yeah. ice on the three of you. <laughs> or the two of you. What does this mean to the fresh Would the shit? big one be in the hit radius? I'm sorry? Would the big one be in the hit radius or no? No. No, gotcha. It's also frost, so it would be resisted anyway. Yeah. Gotcha. If it is affected by it at all. That too. I would need a dexterity saving throw from yep. both of you. I'm golden. Yeah, you both save. And Yay. you would take through you would take six damage. But you stand out of the way, so you only take three. 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 Yay. Um, and that'll be its turn. Next up is another Zomboni. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's gonna try and make its way to Octod. I hope he doesn't Zombone me. Oh, it's a fast Zomboni. Yeah, it makes it there. <laughs> and that's it. It'll swing at you with its claws. Yeah. Does a 16 hit you? Yeah. Go ahead and take 7 slashing damage. So I'm reducing that, right? Uh, it's normal slashing damage, so you can reduce it. Yes. Okay, I'm just... So you take Double check. 3 slashing take damage. Three. Yeah. Uh, next up, does an 11... Does a 12 hit you? No. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> um, hold on. Figuring this die out. Next up, K, you're up. Oh my god, it's been 84 years. Can I please <laughs> hit something now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna move here. And then I'm gonna cast my, uh... Fireball! No, okay. <laughs> I don't know that yet. <laughs> no, I don't think druids learn it. I was supposed to say, I don't even think I can learn it. Yeah. I'm gonna use my bonus action and I'm gonna cast the the spirit totem of the unicorn and I'm gonna slap it right here. You're gonna slap it right there? Yeah. Damn. With authority. With authority. <laughs> that space then, right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, uh, Arlos, what's your health? My health is currently nine. Okay. Alina, what's your health? It's four. Four. Okay. I'm gonna cast... I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cast Healing Spirit on Alina. All right. How much does Alina heal? Well then. All right, Alina, you heal two. <laughs> Some is better than none. Let's go. Well, the unicorn does boost healing. I don't remember. Hold on. I right, hold on. Roll the right. ability, please. It's um. Yeet. Yep. Uh, unicorn. Oh, unicorn. That unicorn. That is a wall of text. Yep, I was expecting this. Got the whole fucking novel in chat. Bear, God, damn. Hawk, unicorn. The unicorn spirit leaves its protection to those nearby. Um, you and your allies gain advantage on all ability checks made to detect creatures in the area. In addition, you can cast spells using any of your spell slots that restore hit points to any creature inside or outside of the aura. Each creature of your choice in the aura also regains hit points equal to the druid's 
druid level. Druid so, level. So you add five because you're druid level five to anyone within the aura if you cast a healing spell. Yes. Oh, so we all are getting. Yes, I assume you're gonna choose all your friends and not the two uh, little devil yes, kings. Only or the my skeleton. friends. And not the enemies, so yep. Alina, Arlos, and I think Uruguay might be in... Because I think it's a 30-foot sphere. Yeah, I mean, if that's if it's a 30-foot sphere, you're in it too. Oh. Damn. Uh, that's true. My boy. Well, if it's a 30-foot oh, sphere... Oh, radius. I would say diameter or radius. If it's radius, then radius. it still applies. Yeah, 30-foot yeah. radius. That's a big area. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so seven total. That's something. That's really good if you use your action to heal with a healing spell and then bonus action healing word. Wait, you can't. Sadly, no. That's right. Darn you leveled spells. Damn you! Anyways, is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Arlos, you're up. Also, Steam also cast. Uh, they all need healing in chat. Oh, they all need healing. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you. So everyone regains seven hit points. Oh, you beautiful soul. Yeah, which is full health. Which is not boosted because it's not a spell. It's still 7 HP. Mm-hmm. All right. So... Love helping my buddies out. <laughs> we, we love you for helping us out. Because I, I was on death door. I'm fighting my own demons. <laughs> These demons hurt! <laughs> so do Octod. Kinda. <laughs> Tell oh, that to the... <laughs> then my <laughs> angels healed me. Tell that to the 60 damage I just took. Yeah, get over right. big baby. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna swing. We're we're going we're gonna go swinging. Oh, beautiful! At big guy McFuck. Yeah. Okay, you hit him. All right. So we're gonna roll a bit of damage. Roll a bit of damage. Oh. Roll hard. Just roll a bit of damage. Uh -huh. Just a little, just a little bit of damage. Just a little bit of damage. Uh, uh I need this too. Hold on. Yeah. Here, have this. And don't forget your bonuses. That can okay. Yeah. <laughs> so three from your bankai, and the rest of your damage. Oh, did it? Did it not do it the did, thing? It did not do the thing. Oh, there Thank it is. Thank you. Okay. okay, so nine damage plus three lightning damage. That'll be twelve damage. Did I say damage enough times yep. yet? <laughs> I think. Uh, do I get um, anything from the hexploit purse? I'm sorry. Do I get anything from a hexploit terrace or no? Oh, right, the two additional damage. I think, right? Yeah, yeah it's just two static. Yeah, <laughs> all right, we swing again. All right, go ahead and swing again. Give me a crit. I meant a crit success, not a crit failure. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Arlos, you, got, you, asked for you missed. Asked for you asked for a crit, and you got it. You missed. <laughs> oh, Is that no. your turn? Uh, no, no, it's not. Because you know what? I know what the fuck is coming, and I'm not staying here for it. I'm gonna move. Hey, Yeti, I love you, buddy. I love you to death. I really do. But if I get smacked by this thing, it's curtains for me. <laughs> love you, but I'm gonna dip. <laughs> love you, but I'm running. 
So oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna also, miss also stuff. roll me a uh, dexterity saving throw. All oh, right, right, yeah, right. I forgot the ice. I was gonna say oh, attack of no. opportunity. Okay, you fall on your butt as you try to escape. You can still do it. All right. Well, considering that would leave me prone, yeah, I'm gonna misty step on out of here. Yep. Where do you misty step? I'm gonna misty step over yonder. All right. Go ahead and do it. Nice. Next up, Octad. All right, I'm gonna do something. Octad, you are a surround. <laughs> that means they're in the worst possible spot they can be in. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna use my breath weapon. Mm-hmm. Is it a it is a fifteen foot cone? So that's all three of these dudes. Okay. And uh... and they all needed Constitution saving throw. And then they just pull up their sheets to know their Constitution. That one fails. Uh, it's, a dex it's a dexterity. Oh. Well, then it really fails. <laughs> and that one also fails. Because you're not able to get both, all three of them in one. Um, the damage is... Damn, 18? Okay. What do you mean I can't get all three? It's a 15-foot code. That's... Well, yeah. 50, co 50 foot cone. I'm letting you angle it to get two of them, but like, it doesn't start at a 15 foot base. It starts at a base of five. Oh, word. Okay. It's a triangle, not a square. Yeah. I'm the tip of the triangle, and it goes like a wee. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's what that one is. So that one takes 18, so it's dead and this one also takes 18 oh, wait I did say I'm a confuse a little bit <laughs> I had to do some math but I got there in the end all right Now, uh, do you have a second attack? I try to see if I can do. If I have any bonus actions that I am able to do. Well, I can't do that. I'm gonna use my. The Hydrocotic Cry. Okay. I can use it on myself. You give yourself advantage on your next attack. Alright. I, mean, I couldn't do anything else. I might as well. Fair. Next up is the Skelly Boy's turn. And it has one target in mind. Arlos, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Here, guy. I hope you're ready. Does a 25 hit? Oh my god. Did Kenny fall asleep? What? So if a 25 Yeti? hit. Yeti? <laughs> Yeti fall I think asleep? Yeti did fall asleep. <laughs> oh no. I got this. Drop the pipes. I think that's what she's about to do. 
Please don't scare him. <laughs> if that didn't... If that doesn't work, then nothing will. Yeti! 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 Yeti. <laughs> We're calling to you from beyond the veil! Fire off the lurker. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna pull up his character sheet. Hold on. Uru guy? Yes. Yeti! Okay. Does a 25 hit you? AKA the extreme uh, sound yes. alert. Okay. You take 11 damage. Alright. I rolled a one and two twos on a d12. And the second attack is going to be... Did you say 12 on that first one or 10 on that first one? Um, the first one was 11. 11? Yeah. The, f the second hit is a natural 20. Oh. So I'm going to go to the dice roller. Click on... 60, 12. Oh, damn it. So you take 49 damage. I think I'm dead. I have 12 HP left. How much is your max HP? 28. Your max HP? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're all gonna die! Wait, do we... Is... Uh -oh. <laughs> I think I live. We're what? gonna be okay. Hold on. Okay. Is he dead? Dead. Um, Look at the chat real quick. Uh, okay, okay. I'll let that go through first. I'll roll 2d4 plus 2. You heal 8, and then you'll take the 43. That still kills him. By one. By one? By one. I did the math. Because it was 49 damage, Tough. you said. Yet he had 12 left, so I put him at zero. So it's 37. And 12, uh, Boy, if I went was... back up the eight, that would bring me up to 20. Uh, it still wouldn't save you. It's, ah. You still die by one. No! Not Turtle Sensei! Turtle oh. Sensei, not like this! My time has come. Sample some bullshit. Did we lose Sam? Okay, next up is. Oh no. This creature's turn. Um. It just wants the leader fall over, so. It's gonna leave you alone. As it flies over to K. Oh, you fuck off, you little bastard. And we'll swing at you. Does it... Is it, is it what I think it is? Yes. Does yeah. a 10 hit you? No. Okay. Good talking to you. Alina, it's your turn. Talking to you. Everything, everything's gone wrong so quickly. And Octa doesn't even know what's happening. And he doesn't. He could have made a difference. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but Octa's doing pretty good in his fight. And he's taking on as many enemies as you guys. He's not taking care of the boss, though. No, but he has four enemies that are stronger than these little ice imp things that you still that you still don't know about. Also, Kay, what languages do you speak? 
I speak. Eric Cocker, R and Celestial Sorry, Common Juridic Giant Sylvan. Me? I don't see the piece to do so. It's here, right? But I got you. Um, you actually hear these things say, oh, I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Thank you. I'm gonna get ya! And they say that in Arin. As it flies up to you. Alright then, you little shit! Come and get me! Also, roll me a history check. Me? Yes. Yeet. You know for a fact that Arin tends to be like the base. Like, it's like common for elementals. Okay. Like, each elemental has their own, like, set language, but Arin is like the common for each one of them. Hey, just effortly, effortlessly responds back in Arin, like, all right, come at me. All right. And Alina, what, is, what else are you doing besides standing up and moving to the side? Uh, Sam, I sent you something in DMs. Mm-hmm. But yeah, still waiting on Alina for what she's going to do. I was fixing where I was cause I moved by accident while trying to go upright. Oh no, you're fine. You, I mean, even if you stand up and do move, you still had movement to do this to do so. So you're fine. But what is it you would like to do? Well, it'd be nice to not have Mr. 3D lagging my stuff, lol. I am so sorry. Hold on one second. If you kill him, he'll disappear. I stopped the animation. You act like it's that easy, Doc. <laughs> I mean, it should have been, but you know, a turtle died. So. Yeah, you guys let Uruguay die. How dare you? How dare we? We are trying. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this thing already killed me once. You guys got me killed. No, no, no. Arlo's got you killed. Remember what he said before he left you? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You got this. I, I think that was around the time I dozed off for like a solid four minutes. Before, I think either somebody yelled my name or my brother came in and woke me up. I don't remember which one happened first. We were all yelling your name. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna let you. I was dead asleep for like I saw three, maybe four minutes. So we were yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yeti. You're all good. We woke him up just to kill him. I'm sorry. We dropped pipes too. Mm hmm. Okay, but Alina, is there... I assume you're gonna do something? But that is up to you. <coughs> 
Let's take a normal shot with the bow. Alright, go ahead and roll for your attack. That is going to hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Um, you do not have anyone within melee range, so the sneak attack is not going to apply, so you deal 7 damage. As this thing looks really weak at the moment. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Listen, woman, I would be dead on the floor, too! Yeah, but you've already done it once. I'm gonna assume no, so we're gonna move I on to... You. The Ghosty Ghoul! Ooh. Uh, look at this silly guy. He's gonna take a swing at you, uh, Octod. Mm -hmm. With his longsword. Do you know that he has a longsword? Yeah. Yeah. Do now. He does. And does a 14 hit you? No. Okay. Does a 9 hit you? No. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Uruguay. Yes. You find yourself in a dark room with misty fog at your floor at the floor making it impossible to see what you're standing on. But... Oh, you're, you're about to tell me to make a check? Yes, I want you to roll for dexterity. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, you see a vast, endless void of black and fog until you turn around and see behind you floating is the spirit of that older you. So, I see we met a little earlier than I expected. I just look at, well, that hurt. I should have. But, you're not done here. You still have your students to look after. And you to take care of. I want to... I, I assume I can see my body or something? Not your body. You're just in the endless void and you can see yourself oh, gotcha. and, and your spirit. I, I, I'll say, it appears we are not quite done yet, are we? No. But if I hadn't intervened, you would have been. So go back to them and make sure that you take good care of Charles. As the spirit... Look back at him with a smile. You know I will. The spirit smiles as it dissipates into the void. As the darkness slowly grows into a blinding light. Just a golden pillar she's a coming off. Giant of golden bright light as that light begins to emanate from you, blinding everyone to look away from you. As you find yourself standing with a new gi. This turtle just goes super saiyan. Maybe. I think so. <laughs> Eric guy, it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if, if you gave me another thing, I don't know how to change I it. I did not add it. I'm hoping okay, I'm you could just do it mentally, because I... it's I did, like, Trust me, I did not plan this. Uh, I didn't plan it either, but we had to improvise nothing. <laughs> we had, I had to improvise basically this whole session. <laughs> um, let, me, let me look at the notes again to remember how this shit works. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my sloppy handwriting. You're all good. It's much better than mine. 
I've been told that by multiple people, but I don't believe them. I will I will literally send you a picture of my handwriting. Okay. You can do that later. Yeah. You, so you all watch as your what who you thought was your dead friend Uragai stand up his gi now turned a golden shimmering a shimmering gold in color as he seems more powerful more steady more focused in his actions Sam I apologize but what's the word without next to without uh, next to without. Bonus action attack can be used without, and I can't read that next word. Shit. Whatever. Uh. Bonus action can be used without using the attack action. Okay, gotcha. I was using. I could. Sorry, I couldn't tell what it was. Yeah. So that bonus action attack that usually you would need to normal do your normal attack. You can just do those. So wait, how many attacks does that give me? Um. Hold on. Because I'm trying to do the math in my head. Does that give me an extra attack, or does that give me multiple extra attacks? No, no, it doesn't give you an extra attack. It's just that you know your bonus action attack. You're able to use that without the trigger of using your attack action beforehand. Oh. Mm -hmm. A link. Doc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, very, I very quickly photoshopped that. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way we can just make it the permanent one for this thing? Because that would be comedy gold. I can do that in a moment. Okay. Fucking wheeze. <laughs> I'll do that like. All right. So I'm going to. I did not hesitate. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Draconic Strike. Mm-hmm. That's a hit. All right, so that's plus, what was it, plus three and plus a 1d4? Or yep. did I misremember that? Nope, it's right. plus your wisdom and then also plus an extra 1d4 for your martial arts yeah. guy. Also, this does use up the key point that it does to, to activate it. I got you. Yep. So, 12, 13. Yep. How do you want to do this? Uh, I want to slowly, like, basically just tap it. All right. You take your palm, you push it up like, against... You know, like the one-inch punch thing? Mm-hmm. You bring it up close to this creature before a powerful blow just cracks every bone going up its ribcage, into its skull, down its legs, into its feet, and across its sword, and it... it it's great X as it slowly crumples to ash and dust from your single one inch punch. It is still well, your doesn't know what happened. He does not. His own thing going on right now. And the rest of you also watch as Uruguay's movements seem more fluid, more elegant, more, less, um, oh, what's the word? The bastard was already moving swift as a... <laughs> He's... <laughs> like, unnaturally smooth? No, like, so naturally that you don't require effort to move. Right, wasn't there the 
I just need to make sure I read that right. I'm sorry? Oh, uh, I was making sure I... Okay, no, that wasn't a thing. I was making sure if I got increased movement or something. I couldn't remember if I did or not. Maybe. Anyways, uh, what else did... Uh, what element like were you talking about? This whole thing was still in the prototype phase. Uh, it's very much in the prototype phase. <laughs> yeah, I sent you a picture with my from my phone during Christmas. <laughs> uh, I guess I was using lightning. <laughs> okay, you sh <laughs> you watch as lightning crackles across your arm, as well. And now to kill, now to move on to this one. <laughs> yep. I'm going to use your iconic uh, strike fire. Yep. That'll melt the way the ice as well. I just pictured like Android 13 Goku when he like <laughs> throws a spirit bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why we got the picture now. Yeah. Uh, this one is fire, yep. by the way. Yep. I'm, I'm, I was very quick to, to Photoshop that. You are, were very quick to Photoshop that. It is 14. Yep. That. <laughs> its health is 21. So double Long that one. is a melted snow bun. Demon. I think I can kill the third one as well. <laughs> Probably. Go for it. Yep. <laughs> I can make it. He's going crazy. You watch as not only does he do this forceful one inch punch, but he kind of so quickly that he it looks like he just teleports to this to the other two creatures before smack smack with fire. Go ahead and roll an attack. Yep. Oh boy. Please tell Sam me check right. stream chat. Please tell me it's a twenty. It, it was an 18. It was close, though. Oh. Fair enough. Mantis, I'm going to be ending the stream after this, so I don't know if it's going to last five minutes. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to refund you for this. And another 14. Plus Jesus the 1d4, Christ. and then double that because it's weak to fire. Let me do the 1d4 real quick. Either way, it doesn't, either way, this is just a it's dick just measuring contest. Dead. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is just a dick measuring contest to see how much I do. And I did four. <laughs> so you deal. So that's that's no thirty six damage yeah, to this creature. Damage. It do be a fucking puddle. <laughs> I just when you reduce it to mist. And as you do. We go to the ghosty goo that's firing arrows at Octod. <laughs> I still got this going on down here. Does a 23 hit you? Ow. Yes. Don't worry, it's just an arrow. You take six damage. I think I still take reduced for that because of rage. Yep. It's piercing, yeah. Does a... 15 hit you. Uh, ties hit, right? Yep. Then yes. You take 10 piercing, so 5. Ow. Before it's the zombie's turn. And it's gonna swing at you with its claws. Does a 14 hit you? You already know the answer. Does a 16 hit you? You already know the answer. Take eight damage. Half to four. Howie. K. You just watched that happen. That thing is dead. Those things are dead. <laughs> Though, uh... Erga killed everything. <laughs> All four the... things. <laughs> yeah? Just wait, just, wait until he unlocks, just wait until he unlocks Ultra Instinct. <laughs> no, Healing Sphere does heal one more time, so anybody within the radius of the unicorn gets a heal. Okay. How much do they heal? Five? Uh... Because it's a druid level, right? 
Yeah. Oh. Oh, right. It's the healing spirit. So because yeah, it's a five spirit. foot cube on Plus. Alina. So Alina, you heal six and everyone heals five. Yeah. I like how Arlos ran away. Got, he got basically got Uwe to evolve into this form. <laughs> this is so dumb. Fuck you too, Pokemon Sam, community it. game. <laughs> Sandwich. Okay, I got an Aerodex. I'll DM you tomorrow about it. I'm sorry? Huh? I thought of something cool. I'll DM you tomorrow about it. Sure thing. If it has to do with that ball of lightning that you ate yesterday, the other week, <laughs> we can talk about that uh, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What have to do with that? Alright. We'll figure it out. Maybe we're on the same page. I don't know. Maybe. Um. So, okay. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Nope. Okay. Arlos? Um, there's nothing really for me to do on my turn. I mean, I guess we could make our way down to Octon. You don't know where yeah, he is. You, yeah, you your characters don't know that I'm down there. Well, we can wander around like chickens with our heads cut off. It's fine. <laughs> I don't think you I will that walk expression. up there again. Oh. Alina, shh. Anyways. Um, Sensei, you're alive! Octod, you're up. <laughs> Uh, real quick, does my me mechanized great axe acid count as a magical weapon? For the purpose of overcoming damage resistance, yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna attack the ghost. Mm -hmm. For like enchanting and stuff, it does not, but you know, that is a miss. Wait, no, I have advantage because I used my shout. Oh, you do have advantage! Ah. I can't. That's a hit. Ah. Who are you ah. attacking, by the way? The ghost. The ghost. That's uh, 13 in total because the extra two from the rage. <laughs> okay. So that's 13 total. Alright. You smacked this thing good. Fuck, it's still not dead? It's not dead. Stay down. This was supposed oh. to be the decent fight for the group, and you're just tanking it yourself. Uh, well, I'll use my uh, Draconic Cry one more time. So mm -hmm. I can do it three times for a long rest. Yep. Because clearly I needed that advantage, and this fucking ghost won't die. Uh, and that is all I can do. All right. Um, Alina, would you like to do anything on your turn? Yeah, you hear the echo of the cry. So you know Octave is doing something after the fight. You were just a bit distracted and preoccupied the whole urga coming back from the dead thing from the whole urga coming back from the dead thing You know you can do the ruler thing if you're dragging your character. If you're dragging and holding your character, you can right click and it'll give you the yellow ruler. All right, then you... That's just 40 and that's your movement. You still have your action and your bonus action if you want to dash, because you're rogue and you have cunning action. Whoa. Nicely done. Yes.
You heard him yelling. He do a scream. He do an ah. Hmm. <laughs> to be fair, the fact that it's Octa, that could be something totally normal to the group. True. All right, if you're sure. Right. Right. That, that's just how they com comes out to how they perceive it as Octa. All right. Well, it's the Ghosty Ghoul's turn. This guy's gonna swing at you with his longsword. Again. Hopefully actually hitting you. Let's see. Does an 11 hit you? You already know the answer. Does a 7 hit you? <laughs> Era guy, would you like to do anything on your turn? Uh... Yes, actually, I want to move toward where I heard Octod. Okay. I'm going to use Dash. Not Dash, what is it called? Uh, step of the Wind. Form. Yeah, Step of the Wind. Basically Dash. Basically yeah. Dash. Go ahead and do your move. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Octad, you actually hear Alina go, Octad, what the hell's going on in here? How did she get down here? Well, whatever. I'm, I'm taking care of some ghosts and goblins. By that, I mean zombies. I already got one. Don't you guys sit back. I got this. I got this. <laughs> He says oh. angrily. <laughs> so that, that's about as far as I move. I don't know. I, crushed All my right. teeth. I, I think I can actually move up one. I did that right. This is at 75. So 80 would be here. Yeah. All right. And the other two, I assume it looked like I just basically disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> you watch as Urugai just flash steps. Where the <laughs> fuck did he go? What in the fucking... You watched as he turned his head towards Octod's scream before... Okay, just, just met him. turns to Arlo and is like, did you know he could do that? I just, in my head, I imagine oh, everybody God, jumping up, T-posing, and just floating fastly. Away. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. That... Dominance with the T-pose. I'd I like to point out, I basically just materialized next to Alina. <laughs> Is this it? You basically ultra instinct. Or not ultra, instant transition. <laughs> just the... <laughs> <laughs> the abridged <laughs> instant transmission. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Popo. <laughs> well... Oh, wait, that was Urigai's turn, right? Yeah. Yes. I was waiting for K or Arlos to do something. <laughs> so this... Uh oh. Okay. This ghost is going to shoot bows at you. It's going to shoot bows? <laughs> yep. It's going to shoot bows. Like the kind of bows you put in your hair? No, no, no. It's taking its arrow, putting a string on it, and then taking its bow and using that as an arrow. Oh. <laughs> All right. So does a sixteen hit you? Is that with disadvantage? Because that's not that that would work. <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> uh, sixteen does hit. You take five piercing damage, reduced down to two. Does a sixteen hit you? Yeah. Come on. You take eight piercing damage, reduced down to four. Oh. Almost got me down to half. Oh, oh dear. Now it's the Zamboni's turn. Does a 19 hit you? Yes. Take six slashing damage, reduced down to three. 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 Does a 17 hit you? Yeah. Take four slashing damage, reduced down to two. 
Almost there. Almost got me halfway. K, you're up. <laughs> all right. I'm going to be like, all right, all right, this buddy, old pal, we got to go. <laughs> and then dip. You know, when Arlos did that to uh, Uruguay, he died. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm the only thing left in this room at this point. And you already Six died. Days. Yeah. <laughs> And that is my turn, because that's as far as I can move. You're not going to use your action to dash? Wait, I can do that? Yeah, that's just yeah. a thing anyone can do. And dashing is how far? Your movement again. Yeah. Oh, fucking sweet. Mm-hmm. And you said like click, drag, and then quick. right click. Yep. Everyone's very quick to come to the aid of uh, Octon. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. Got it. <laughs> Alright. Arlos. Your friends just left you. <laughs> <laughs> that that unicorn statue is looking mighty suspicious. Huh? Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I wanna use our action to dash. Yep. Also, oh. if you drag right click. Um, your it'll count for you. Can we put a counter on the screen for every time Sam mentions this? Yes. <laughs> I am not editing that in. But it'd be funny and great for a YouTube clip. It would be. Octod, you're up. Uh, I must do but my the content, thing. Sam. I can't. That's too much. No, the you want to know what's too much? Killing uh, when I have a for a guy. <laughs> Put a counter in every time somebody calls K a what? chicken. <laughs> Come on. You had advantage. But you Damn. fucked it up. Damn it. Alina. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, you have a bonus action. I forgot. Yeah. Come on now. Let's be considerate. I have one more Draconic Cry. Mm hmm. And, uh, hold on. I need to, oh, that's not what I meant to do. But it's attacks of opportunity? <laughs> oh, they're not within 10 feet of me. Well, Damn. that's fine. I'll, I'll buff myself. Yeah. Man, two twos in a row, man. Who needs friends anyways? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Mm. They abandoned me. That would be fun. What? You abandoned us? What the <laughs> yeah, fuck? I was gonna say. <laughs> You abandoned what them. Do you mean? The group split into two. I went this way. Right. You abandoned me. Anyways, that your turn? Yeah, unfortunately I can't. So is this a standable else. space? Which sustainable space? I think the one to the left of me. Yeah. Right, Alina, you're, you're up. At that, uh, he's short. He's like three feet. He's three feet. The ghost is floating above him. Against all oct odds, the ghost has a gash. Yeah. The white is I floating will take above a him. Shot with the radiant bow. Yep. I'm gonna start making jokes based on oct odds name. The oct odds are against you. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your attack. <laughs> the more tired everyone gets, the funnier I become. Wow, the lag must be really hitting hard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's par partially probably because the map's a bit big. Because some one of my friends has another has a similar problem when the map's too big. Her yeah. whole thing lags. That is going to miss, unfortunately. My last luck cause it's eight. All right, go for it. Just don't do the same thing I did. Yeah, just don't miss. Oh. All right, calm down there, Sassy Cat. Yeah. I'm always Sassy. Yeah. 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 
That's a natural 20. Emoji Sam Cheese. Yeah. That one was from me. Ah, damn it. You tricked me. But go ahead and roll 4d6. I was about to say 20. 4d20s. Holy shit. Right? Um, roll me 4d100s. Oh. oh my god. Roll me 10 D Googles. D -go what? We're gonna be here for, for a long time. A Google a very... is a big number. It's <laughs> one followed by a hundred zeros. That's a Google Google Plex. No, a Google Plex is a Goog is a one followed by a Google amount of zeros. I'll Google you. I'll Google you. The Pixel Doctor. <laughs> that was very quick. <laughs> I just saw Chad. What? Doc editor? Wait, what? Oh, the shop. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, Octod, what? you watch as this ghost just dissipates in front of you. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Alina? All right. Okay, we go. We now go up to Super Saiyan Urugai. <laughs> and time for the killing spree to resume. Yep. <laughs> I move over to this zombie. Go ahead and punch it. <laughs> go, Turtle Sensei, go! <laughs> go! Go, Turtle Sensei, go! I thought this was going to be an Alina episode, but apparently it's turning into a new play. Right? Does a 21 hit? That hits. Alright, so that's 14. 14? No, sorry, 13. Thank you. Plus a 1d4. Oh. 18. No, 17. 17? Yeah. Oh, 17. Yeah. I can math. All right, 17. Go ahead and roll your second attack if you want. Yep. All right, I didn't realize it was still going to be larger after the first one. Yep. It's not like the Ice Muppets who are DZ one half. This is DC one. Ooh. <laughs> that, hits. that hits. That hits. My vision was... My vision was like not totally focused for a second. I thought that said draconic slur, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, scaly reptilian fuck. <laughs> no, you would say something uh, really offensive, like uh, something I probably I'm not even gonna try to say on stream because you never know what what's a real and what's not a real. Right. Slur. All right, that's sixteen. No, fifteen. 15. <laughs> we got there. All right, you dealt thirty-two damage to this thing. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is it still alive? I'm sorry? Is it still alive? Yes, it is still alive. Alright, I'll hit it again. <laughs> it's say, still I mean, standing. Well, it's still unalive. Jesus, I just, I just looked at your dies. Plus seven to hit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's a 26 I, hit. I tried to buff monks. I'm sorry. I tried, no, I, I tried to buff them in a like decent way that will not no. overload them with like all their bonus attacks. You That's 17. Mm-hmm. You just pop, pop, pop this guy out of existence. <laughs> Octo's like, what the fuck, bro? You stole my kill. Speaking of kill, um, there's a white shooting in air arrows at you. Oh, uh, a white, not a ghost. That yeah, it's a white. 
Wait, who's uh, he shooting an arrow at? Arrow guy. I have the deflect missile. Okay. Does a twenty-two hit you? Yes. All right, and that's six damage. How does the flick missile work again? You spend a key point to try to catch the arrow and reduce its damage as of your reaction. I think I have one key point left, if I remember right. Okay, yeah, because you're not getting bonus key points yet. Yeah. Is the thing I use the one to transform, then another to do the dash, and mm -hmm. I have three, so yeah, I have one left. Do you uh, remember the bonus one from your, um, whatchamacallit, your bands of master? Or bands right, of sorry, I would, I, would, I would have two left. I, I keep forgetting that one has one. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's impossible to put it on your sheet. I just got to make a note that you have an extra point. All right, so I'm trying to remember how, to, how uh, Deflect Missile works. It's been a long time since I've actually used it. There should be a die on it, and you just roll that plus your dexterity, and you reduce the damage to, or you reduce the damage by that much. If you reduce it to zero, you're able, you can spend another key point to throw it back. Yeah, there it is. All right, yeah, yep. Plus your monk level, okay. So one d10 plus your dexterity, which I assume is four at this point. Three. Three. Plus your monk level, which is eight. You don't even have to roll if you want. Your monk level is eight. Your monk level is not eight. It's plus monk what? level that makes it eight. Oh, I think you said my monk level is eight, and I got confused. No, no, and it's dealing six damage right now, so you can just catch it using your reaction. And if you want to spend your last key point, you can just throw it back at it. Yeah. All right, go ahead and make a a normal punch, like one of your unarmed attacks at right. this thing. That hits. 24 hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Yep. That's plus 3, making it 12. 12 plus 1d4. Yep. So that's 16. All right. You deal 16 to this thing on its turn. And it's going to try and shoot another arrow. This time at Octa, because it doesn't like what you do. <laughs> okay, Kay, it's your turn. <laughs> uh -huh. I rolled a 10. A oh, how many fours have I gotten so far? Let's see. One. <laughs> two. I got two so far. It's and I've just gotten this ability. And then would you like to use your action to dash, or...? No, I'm just gonna stay here for the moment. Okay. <laughs> Arlos. Would I be able to see the thing that they are fighting? Yes, from that position, yes. It's gonna Eldritch Blast them. All right, go ahead and roll for attack. Twice. That first one's gonna miss, unfortunately. Go ahead and roll Don't your second one. That one's gonna hit. It deals three damage. It is not liking either of you. But especially <laughs> Uragai. That will be my turn. Alright. Octod, go get your kill. 
That was so fast to get back to my turn, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's almost like a bunch of enemies' turns got taken out. <laughs> I zoom, I also, I just realized there. something. Mm -hmm. Not a single one of my attacks missed this session. No, they haven't. Knock on wood. <laughs> to be fair, nice. I, still, I still have it. Oh, fuck. To be fair, the AC of most things in this place was 11. Do, do, do Urga upon becoming Super Saiyan steal all my my hits? What happened here? Maybe. Steal my energy? Maybe. Alina, you, oh wait, did you have a bonus action to do? I don't. I'm raging, so I don't have anything I can do right now. Not even the um, Bardic Inspiration? No, I can't do that. It counts as a spell. No, it doesn't. It's a, it's a spell-like ability, but it's not a spell. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can't do it on, on myself, and I'm not giving it to Urgway for stealing my kills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alina, you're up. You rush in with your katana, as per usual. I don't think Russians exist in this in this world. <laughs> but the British do. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking Boston Tea Party. <laughs> okay. Listen, there is some canonical event that crossed over. You know, history, funny, okay? funny thing, there is a uh, canonical event where you can actually go to Russia in Pathfinder. What? what? Yes, <laughs> you can fight tanks in Pathfinder. Oh my I God. would love to see Octa fighting a tank. Not two e. This is one e, by the way. So it's a lot more complicated. But it's. I don't even know what that means. Well, I the first mean. edition, but not second edition. Yeah, I, I was like, I know what it means. Well, yeah. I say like, no. Yeah, radiant bow. Go ahead and fire. That's a hit. And you get your sneak attack because. Ally within melee range. 16 damage. This thing looks hurt. It's starting to fade it's a little bit. Dead. No. Holy fuck. They have a decent come. amount of health. <laughs> yeah, it's Urgh a white. Urgh guys gonna be coming like, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> yeah, I believe whites have more health than regular ghosts. There a guy. Guy, you're just, up. Oh, just, just the Vegeta. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine. Actually, I think <laughs> ghosts are a higher CR. All right, I'm going to do the Draconic Strike of Lightning. And we're just about done here anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, well, they actually have the same amount of health. Oh. Oh. Ghosts? Yeah, ghosts have lower AC, though. I missed mm. that one. Yeah, you do. You missed your first attack. You damned yourself. There we go. 23. That's a hit. Let me roll for damage. We don't even know where leave is. Alright, so that brings it to 12. So Super Saiyan Uragai, how do you want to do this? Brings it 14. Uh, I'm just going to punch the ghost. You punch the ghost and putting your fist inside of it, you shine with the radiant energy and just burn the spirit of this ghost from the inside out. God damn. Okay, so apparently Uragai can destroy spirits now according to Sayori. No, <laughs> this is just like a moment of cool. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. You become an exorcist. On the other hand, Octon's pissed you just stole his kill and doesn't even care that he was shining. <laughs> I did it twice. Yeah, Octon, Octon in particular hates you right now. <laughs> Wait, there was a point where he liked me? So, he didn't, he did, there was a point where he didn't hate With you. that, we're going to end it there. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the session. Uh, I really need to go take care of stuff. So we're going to do a quick wrap, wrap up. Um, outros, um, go. Uh, I'll, I'll go first. I am Minietti. I am a Minietti VTuber. Uh, there's a good chance I'm probably going to start my Lost Planet stream tomorrow. 
I don't quote me on that because I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm I'm planning on it. Uh, and yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, um, let's I'm, go doc. I'm just oh. gonna do Mordred real quick. Oh, um, oh, yeah. My bad. Nice. Mordred is your um mute Kitsune VTuber. She's awesome. She plays games almost all the time. Uh, are you back at streaming? Yeah, you're back at streaming, right? I think yeah, I think she is. Yeah, yeah. I've seen her streams popping up. Yeah, but yeah, uh, go check her out. Uh, let me do the shoutouts for everyone real quick. I'll go next. Just to continue not. I am the Doctor who plays Octa the Kobold, that's your Tanuki Raccoon hybrid VTuber. Um, and probably tomorrow, since I finished Snapfall, I'll be continuing with Fire Emblem Awakening now and work on getting that finished up. Uh, Mike, your crow, go. I don't care who. I'll go. Everyone in the name is Kiryu Makoto VT. I'm a Wogan VTuber that's half wolf, half dragon, and I'm tired and a motherfucker. So, I'm gonna pass it off to a good old chicken. Bugok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cosmos Creeper, aka Karen. I recently also re debuted and will be back to streaming semi regularly. I need to figure out a schedule. Don't call me out. <laughs> but I'm your what local escape cryptid. I got schedules. Y'all got schedules? <laughs> I made one and I just haven't actually like posted it. I stream I on Tuesdays. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, Mikey, sorry. I I was just saying I'm your local escape cryptid. That's it. Yeah. And I'm Sammy, your your D and D VTubing cat, God mommy, for, uh, aspiring voice actress and game designer. And I hope you all had a fun time tonight. I know I did, even though this was chaos incarnate. Yeah. <laughs> I had fun photoshopping. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna put that on stream real quick. Hold on. It's so good. I very quickly put that together. Yeah, came out yeah, you it. did. I'm going <laughs> to put that on the field for everyone to see. I did not. The opportunity was there and I needed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's beautiful. Wait. Say, man, we don't have the entirety of this dungeon uncovered, but... You have to tell me, is there a small or big bob on this map right now? Um, I may or may not have forgotten to put a small and or big bob on this map. Damn. I will have that ready for is, next week. Is that going to be a thing, finding the Easter egg bob? Yep. Yes. <laughs> I love the Collect sound all that the I've created. Win a prize. <laughs> There's no prize for finding all the bobs. If it's you just find all but 100 bobs, you get an alternate costume for the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But anyways, we're going to be raiding out, I think, who's live? Dusk is. Dusk, dusk is, is live. Just go, just go with Dusk. Yep. Raiding Wait. Dusk. Raid. The, adventure, the adventures of how apparently somehow Urga ascended to being a god through scuffed means... Which I'll probably tell you guys after stream. This conversation means Amy. Yeah, and I have a brother bear. I have to call all DM out. Sam out tomorrow. Yep, we have two raid messages. We got the regular one for followers and the sub one for subscribers. Go ahead and pick whichever one applies to you, and we'll be raiding out shortly. Right. One last yeah. nut. One last nut. Hey. Nut. Thank you for nutting in my ear. Goodbye, game. everybody. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. We'll be seeing you soon. Good morning. We'll be seeing every booty soon. Yeah. yeah concerning. Booty, booty, booty rocking everywhere. Booty, yeah. booty, booty, booty <laughs> rocking yeah. everywhere. And I'm just going to quickly raid out. Love you all. Have a good one. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm.